Hello and welcome back to Spellforce Conquest of EO. It's been a year since the game first came out. We've completed it with a necromancer and a alchemist build, but we've never done the artificer. So with the DLC announced to come out in two weeks time, I thought now would be the perfect time to come back and revisit it and uh, get good before the new DLC drops and we get to play as a demonologist then. So we're gonna start a brand new campaign this morning as the artificer well as a custom artificer in the past we've played as the pure alchemist doing alchemy nature and enchantment we played as a necromancer with death and mentalism the artificer has earth master and guardian which i think is probably what we're gonna take we're going to go as an artificer, a creator of magical items that crafts glyphs and artifacts to buff your troops, turning them into powerful entities. One of your most important objectives is ore, as every magical item is made from it. Earthmaster. This allows us to, like, raise golems as well, from what I remember. Enchantment allows you to summon and improve fantastical monsters, enable your troop to reach remote places. And Guardian, protect and strengthen your troops, bring light to the world, and defend against the Dark Arts. Do, do, Earthmaster and Guardian is what it said? And we did Nature and Enchantment before. I mean, Earthmaster for sure. And I think probably Guardian. I am tempted to do like Earthmaster and Enchantment. Because I like the idea of adding fantastical creatures to our ranks alongside of golems. The lives of your followers are your first priority, so you'll do everything in your power to keep them alive and healthy. Bring light to the world and defend against the dark arts. Part of me wants to just like twist it up. Guardians like paladin stuff, heals and buffs, yeah. And anti-undead. Now, every time I've played this, I've been put up against so many necromancers. Let's do Earthmaster and Guardian. I mean, we've done all the other ones, why not? Choose your starting location. Now, we've done this a few different ways before. When we played as the Alchemist, I believe we started in Alluvian. When we played as the Necromancer, we started in Gillyshire. The Misty Coast has orcs. Golden Field has a lot of bugs and bandits. Draycott is the mountains, which does mean dwarves, which does kind of feel like probably where I want to be. Seeing as we're an artificer. Stream died. Inconvenience. Now we're back. Please let me know if we're back. It says I'm live again. Test, 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 test. I'm back. Excellent. A good little hiccup to start the morning. Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? All right. So let's find a clever way to cut around this. Hmm, let's see. So we did Alluvian with our Alchemist. We did Gillyshire with the Necromancer. I think we go Draycott. We go straight up into the mountains. I've never really done the top left corner of the map. And I've never really done the bottom right corner of the map where all the islands are. But I know I want dwarves. And I know I want ore. Rich in ore. So this seems like the right spot to be. Welcome back. Welcome back. Select antagonists.
you know what? I'm going to go pure random. And just hope I don't get all the necromancers. And we are going to play on impossible because that's what we did last time. We might as well figure it out. Giddy up. Drake hot's amazing for the arty. The artifice. I mean, I figure if that's where all the ore is, it's probably the right spot to start. Also, like, I'm assuming I am a dwarf if I am an artificer and I'm making runes and mining ore. When a message from your master told you he had discovered a new way to channel the Allfire, he urged you to come to his tower. You quickly gathered your entourage and set out. The letter contained little more than his note and a small flute, exquisitely carved and bearing your master's sigil. He seemed to fear running afoul of Circle Mages, the most powerful convent... Convent... Covenant of magic users on EO. His tower, now before you, bears signs of a terrible battle having raged. The Master's Tower. Who are we starting with here? We got a little Gorblins and Artificer's Minions. I think, I think... I remember something wacky being about the way that that was done before. We have a mana stash. I guess we're going straight to the master's tower. Snag some mana en route as we remember how to play the game. Dwarves are great units for artificers. That's good to know. That's what I want. I want dwarves. I want golems. And maybe like some weird fantastical beasts. When we were alchemists, we had a big beast army. And when we were undead, we had we had an undead army and we had a paladin army, which was really funny. Oh, we had a big orc army. We had orcs and beasts when we were alchemists. So I kind of want to be like dwarves and maybe magical monsters. Maybe like Nega or something. The corpse and debris marking the fight inside the great hall of your master's tower fill you with grief. Instinctively, your hands go to the flute he sent you. You trace the fine carvings in your fingers and memories of your time here flood your mind. The flute seems to hum and vibrate and a small sound emanates from within. The sound morphs into a flute melody and with its shadowy figures slowly begin to appear across the hall. Figures take form, becoming more solid and taking the shape of two groups facing each other, weapons drawn. This must be the battle for the tower. I know what happens. We don't need to do the combat tutorial. Your master was adept at hiding secrets. You set up in the tower. Take stock. The entry hall's golden chandeliers have been stolen. Its soft carpets are gone. Your master's tower was not just attacked, but robbed, it appears. Ransacked, one might say. On closer inspection, there are several tracks leading out of the tower. T traces of torn fabrics and dropped cutlery lead to a goblin camp. Not too far away. The tower repaired. What do we have? A border post enables hiring of dwarven sentries when inside your domain. The tower, a glyph smithy. We might as well start building that. And in our inventory, we have ashes and mountain copper. I can't afford anything else. I don't think I'm even able to recruit anybody at this point. Where are we on the map? Ooh. Oh, we're like dead center. I love it. So I, I really think I want to come up this way. Maybe up. I think there's like a Dwarven City here, if I remember. It's been a while. It's been a year. Create some bird-hating golems. I think all golems secretly hate birds. Dwarven Windweed fully restores all movement points of visiting units once per week. Harvestable. What do we got? Four movement left? Let 
little two-part sneaky sneak. From the camp, you make out loud and obnoxious squabbling of goblins. They appear to be fighting over loot from the tower, screaming at the top of their lungs. Let us fight. If I'm a dwarf and an artificer, I'm not making friends with goblins. I'm going straight to the battle with them. Two goblins and goblin archers. Oh, it's been so long. Oh, it feels good to be back. We going? Oh, man. I forgot all about all the incredible noises that they make. I mean, they can't get that far. Why don't we try something like that? And see if we can't remember. Yeah, that makes sense. They've got the barricade. They've got some woods. What is the range on this guy's attack? Five. Ooh. The answer is it's a lot. But. We don't have to engage in him fairly. We going? We going? They can't reach me. They can't reach me. Let's see if we make some early mistakes here, which feels pretty likely. Gotta remember like all the hotkeys on how to play. <laughs> My goblins. We going? Interesting choice. We going? So I mean, I could move all the way in here. I could also just blast these guys. Repeated once per action. Ah, okay, so we get three attacks, I see. We going? I'm trying to remember, like, we do going? units get weaker if you've blasted them a bunch? We going? And I don't think they do. None of these guys are technically, like, in attack range. Oh, I can charge. Right. Okay, so it's one movement, two movement, and then charge. So I could do this. This makes sense to me. It's the slightly tankier unit up against them. And then we're trading with him. Giving him a little disorder. Solid trades. They're broken. We got attacked in the back, so we missed one counter. But we get to absolutely blast these dweebs. Give them the flanks. Give them the spanks. I'm counting that as a win. No losses. <laughs> Is this a game you have to win by combat or can you win by other ways? It is win by combat. Heroic victory. A couple of nice levels. You gain some rep. The now quiet camp is littered with goblin corpses. They're carrying some small amount of your master's tools as well as coin. And glyphs. Bloodthirsty bleeding, willpower, and harvest plant. 
Where are the rest of his possessions? As you turn to leave, a few goblins emerge from hiding, one of them wearing a hood made from a torn silken cloth. I remember you, one of Master's pupils. Yes, yes, we serve Master. Not like these Chagrak here. He spits at the dead goblin empathetically. We serves you now. Yes, yes, you gives us shiny. We fights for you. Shows you where more Master's things are. The goblins point to two stacks of chests and sacks not far from where you stand. Not far at all. Level up! For each unit with pack tactics or 100% daily healing. You get damage on flanking attacks or plus one willpower. Well, I guess we'll give you backstab. And I'm going to give you healing for now. I can't like merge units. I'm trying to remember all the steps on how to play. What we'll do is we'll just move here and then we'll wait a turn so that we can heal within our domain. Because as far as I remember, you heal a lot better in your own domain. And we can start hiring some Gorblin archers. Dwarven sentries. They actually sound like they're probably archers. They're who I want, who I really, really want. So you know what? Let's actually hire brawlers. Some meat shields for the meantime. Uh, this guy gets increased yield from mining or can traverse mountains and cliffs. Costs nothing and is expendable. So I could do something like give him the ability to harvest plants. But we don't have any plants right now. So I'm not going to panic about it too much. Everyone guards if you end the turn. I think you are correct. The glyph smithy or the glyph glithy. <laughs> You wander the old familiar rooms of the tower, lost in memories of your time here as an apprentice. The place was clearly searched before the goblins ransacked it. Your master's crafting room has been depleted. Most of his old chambers ravaged. Whoever did this left no stone unturned. Beneath a toppled bookcase in your master's gutted library, you find his old grimoire. You open the heavy tome. Many of its beautifully illustrated pages have been torn out, but you still see bits and pieces of your master's illegible script. He was always secretive about his research, often writing in code. You look for the first spells he taught you, carefully flipping the large pages to the bookmarks attached to the spine. You can make out some of the basics. Others you can almost decipher. You gaze around the room, imagining a treasure trove of arcane knowledge hidden among the scattered scrolls and torn books. A lifetime of magical study at your disposal. <coughs> Craft four glyphs or artifacts. Wisps. Aid, corrode, sniff gold. Having a nose for precious metals has always been a sought after blessing. This grants you the rare sense temporarily, revealing any untapped gold nearby. Sniffa. I think it's a while until we find an all fire source. So I'm going to sniffa. Uh, and we could charge a spell, but I don't really think we need to. The glyph smithy is made, which means we can make smithy glyphs. Here you can forge rare ores and create powerful glyphs and artifacts to equip your troops with. Put an ore from your inventory into the ore slot. Next, add items containing any element into the other slots. Glyph of fire wielder. Attacking burning enemies. Okay. What if I was to, like, put in one of these? Glyph of healthy, plus 10 health. Glyph of gla grave robber, plus one remains. All right. Well, let's, let's do one of these fire wielding ones. These glyphs ain't going to make themselves, you know. 
206. Axe wielders. So dwarves have minus one speed, plus one willpower, plus one armor, and elemental resistance is their big thing. They're also drunk. And that inn will spawn units. You know what? If we go here, we can heal this goblin up a little bit more. And end the turn at that. Uh-oh. Yeah, oh. Hmm. I didn't anticipate losing units from that. If I go here, can I recruit dwarves? No, I cannot. Looks like I better prep this then, if that's the case. You do fire damage? You do. Can't apply burning. All right, well, at least he was kind enough not to attack me a second time. What's this like? I like the art style so far. This is a really good game. This is one of my favorite games that came out last year in MK. They got an expansion coming out in like two weeks, so I'm revisiting it. Doing, uh, doing the last playthrough that I haven't done yet with the Artificer. Very excited. Basically, you play as a wizard in a tower, and your goal is to discover your master's old research and become a super powerful wizard. What are your next steps? The destruction of your master's tower must mean he's guarded something of the Allfire's secrets. You can restore the contents of his grimoire, but his tower also needs rebuilding. If the circle is coming for your disappearance, you must expect them to come for you as well. I will not let them stop me. Taking proper stock of your master's lab, you find very little more than empty vials and containers that have, like everything else, been thoroughly searched. It was certainly not the work of goblins. You can make out tracks of a cart leading to a nearby hamlet. Did villagers plunder the town? Well, that's treasure. This is a hamlet. That's going to be a fight. Gains a bonus when attacking enemies afflicted by burning. And apply burning. We're going to do that. Uh, we don't have any other ore yet. We'll hire a goblin archer and we'll head into the hamlet. You're a wizard. Sign you up. 35 or 4% off on Humble. Well, if you're going to buy it on Humble, you know. Make sure to buy it through that link. <laughs> so way at least I get a little bit of a cut. The village inhabitants eye you with an air of hostility when you arrive. Children are called inside. Some of the villagers arm themselves with tools and sticks. Your band regards them cautiously in return. A burly black-haired man brandishing a cudgel steps forward and said, There's nothing for you, eh? Wow, why are you guys so hostile? You're here to take back the wizard's good, aren't you? The apprentice gave us a fair payment for helping him flee. It was a fair trade, and we will fight for them. No need. Let me trade you for them. I don't want to make bad guys. We're, we're, we're a dwarf. We was afraid he'd be with us. The old wizard's apprentice thought we would come after him and take back the items he gave us. We wanted to trade him in the city to buy clothes for our children. Uh, yeah, I got no intention of harming you dudes. Trade, but you we trade. The major's troops are here to trade. You're not playing a cruel trick on us. You really wish to trade for your goods. Yeah, man, trade. I'm a dwarf. What do you wish to trade for the goods? Five gold or five mana? I don't really have things to spend mana on right now, but I do have things to spend gold on. The villagers, uh, villagers agreed to trade you for some of their harvests for a few mending spells. 
a glyph of herbalist, a heat stone, three mountain copper, and a sky iron, along with some wheat. Pleasure doing business. You think perhaps the apprentice villagers... You think about the apprentice the villagers kept speaking of. Perhaps you can find them and they can shed some light on your master's fate. Now, we also get access to daily gold for having this location. As well as, I believe, an extra crafting slot? Alright, you guys really want me to craft more things. Ooh, if I crafted with you and this... I can make a greater glyph of seer plus two focus. It's not a bad idea. I'll take it. Yeah, so Hamlet produces one gold a day. Like this produces like five gold a day. Uh, I, I want to get that, but I'm scared of these villagers over here. That inn... Oh, if we can take this inn, though, we'll get rep with the other dwarves. That's a dwarf faction for sure. Four turns to mine that ore. Yuck. We're going to hire more goons. Oh, and the hammer and sickle is extra hiring, is it? That would make sense. I thought it was extra crafting slot, and this was extra hiring slots. But I think I'm wrong. Oh, we should be building rooms. Your master's missive spoke of an all-fire source he discovered not far from here. Now that you've established yourself in the tower, it's time to search for it. You scour his scribblings for any hint to the source's location. It could be close to the tower, else your master would not have set up here. Eventually, you find the location noted in the grimoire. It's not even a day's walk. As many have found out to their detriment, no mortal can touch the all-fire without being consumed. The circle only recently discovered how to master its power, and they will not teach their secret to anyone. But your master once described a theory of his, of a magical conduit. By summoning an ethereal creature to meld with the all-fire source and retain the connection to it, you may be able to channel some of the power into yourself. A wisp would do the trick. I need 45 gold for a workshop. Just easier said than done. Oh, wow. I also didn't realize this. How do I... There we go. I can only have four people in a stack. Which is most certainly worth noting. This is the goblin with healing. So I lost my backstabbing goblin. Uh, these guys are going to probably likely come attack me again. So I'm going to hit him with the corrode. And hope that that works. We've also crafted a new glyph. We can make a glyph of healthy. Or a glyph of mountain goat. Which gives us mine ore. But I'd have to use two ore to use it. Uh, I have a question, which is how many more of these do I have to do? Two. That's a copper vein. We're going to get a bunch of copper right now. A 
could also make a herbalist, which is not very good. That's death. So death and life, I always forget, counter each other out. Ah, I'm going to make one of these. Why not? I will end the turn. They are going to attack us. But we have more people. And they have corrosion. Die yeah, somebody British. Of course. Any any villager must be British. That's the rule. Okay, so There's some good woods I can hide behind here. We going? We going? Throw torch. Yeah, everybody is corroded. Minus one armor. Okay. hold guard feel like we have the better position here so most definitely we do now snipe these guys and then they can wipe them out so close Trying to like reduce as much of their um, morale as possible. Oh, they burned to death. Those were my higher level goblins. That is a pity. But they're only goblins, so we don't have to care too much about them. And we can bring back in our little uh, alchemist minion now too can sell items as well. Yeah, but I can't imagine wanting to sell anything at this point this early on. Uh, can I take that or will it still be a fight? Plus one armor, plus five health. I'm gonna go armor. Give them backstab. Oh, and missile damage. Amazing. Okay, so there is an army. There's an army of like five units in there. But we found a gold nugget and a bunch of extra gold. We have mana. We have a watchtower. Ah, shoot. Ah, sugar snaps. Mount Vane, a construction site. Oh, that's really good. These guys might be in a thick of trouble. Well, we have enough for the study. We're getting a little bit of copper ore. These guys are probably going to attack us and kill us. But just in case they don't. I'll take a retreat. 
Five mana a day. Cities and shops have new inventories. We picked up six mountain copper and a gold nuggy. Not far from your tower, you spot a hooded figure watching you from a crop of trees. Is the circle already aware of your presence? I need more guards. A local militia holds a watchtower not far away. Perhaps they have guards. It would be wise of me to heal. Earth lore. The spell will instill a sense of stone and earth equaling the most experienced of dwarves, making climbing a mountainside seem like a mere stroll. Well, that's a good spell. Uh, but I do need to get enchanted wisps. And I'm going to want to heal before we take this on. Though it's only two guys. We'll heal one turn. But yeah. Cutthroats and axe wielders. One ninety, two nineteen. Do I waste a corrode on them? They're good XP, which is nice. Let's play it safe. I didn't cast these spells not to use them. We going? We going? Show. We going? We going? Think I'm going to do something like that. Uh, let's make sure the fire hits these guys. I'm realizing this guy does fire damage. Dwarves take less damage from fire. Like significantly so. I don't want them to be able to rush my back line. So everybody else is just going to guard... Ow. Nice. Nice. Clean. Dust them off. Now we do got to heal. 100% health daily. Gonna stack another corrode. We're, we're currently in um whatever the week is that's giving us an extra like plus five. So we'll just let them heal up. Late at night, a frantic rattling at your door wakes you up from your window. You see the hooded figure nervously eyeing the path. Quick, open up in the name of our master. They're after us. Quickly sliding through the door and locking the door behind him, a man slumps against the wall. I pray they've not spotted my trail or we may all be lost. Slowly catching his breath, he pulls down his hood. He's older than you thought, his beard already graying. Apologies, where are my banners? I know who you are. Our master spoke very highly of you, but you no doubt wonder who I am. 
I am Florian Ironbend. I studied to become an earth master with our late master. Here is proof of my work. He hands you a number of densely scribbled pages that revolve around working with various ores and metals. It's quite the tale. Do you want me to tell you everything or just what happened to our master's research after the circle came for him? Uh, we can skip to the end. A day's journey from here, not long away, is the tower of the circle's forces have used as a base. I'm certain that this is where they took the pages our master's most valued. I managed to gather some of our former servants, but this, they're not sufficient to take on the circle minions. I implore you, protect me and our master's legacy. I swear I will not fail him again. I even offer you my services if you help me take his research. We may best the circle's forces. Our master's work must be preserved. Stolen pages. And a big honking tier two horned demon. Along with lesser fire golems. Nice. So we got a apprentice now. Florian Iron Bend. Stone Fist. And Summon Barrier. He can also build lodges. That's right. Strong Mind. He's an Earth Master. So he has plus two armor. A gifted pupil plus three focus. And a bit of white resistance. White resistance and armor. I know exactly who he'd be good against. The paladins. That's a big boy. That beard does not look very gray. It does not look very gray at all. Uh, and we picked up earth shapers. Which are basically the same as him, but also have heal. And earth armor. Oh, that's nice. And heal among my troops. Oh, that's amazing. Okay. Axe wielders. Who are not drunk, but do have shielded. And then dwarven workers who have harvest plant and mine ore. elemental resistance well obviously the guys with elemental resistance are going to be really good against these fire golems boosts the yield from mining ore mine ore So, if I was to put you and you together, and then perhaps your ranged, your melee. Those three together? Cave. Dwarven Windweed. There's some ore up here, but there was an army as well. I got to deal with this militia outpost first. So let's hit that. Some soldiers loiter in front of the watchtower, but there isn't a proper guard posted. At the sight of their approach, a few of them get up, unsure of what to do, and obviously more than a little drunk. Impress them with magic. The guards clap and laugh at your display, watching and wonder as your cantrips fill the air. You promise them a full belly and good ale, and they join you. Oh, amazing. The locals probably won't look kindly on you using magic to lure away their protection. Oops. Uh, so now we have a proper Dwarven army. If I pick up this, I'll also get sentries. Those guys get to heal. Do I even need these Gobbos anymore? I guess they could go with these dweebs and I could slap like... um. Ooh. I could slap glyphs on these guys for like harvest plants and mine ore. Then they'd be a really cheap worker. So 
Those guys don't cost anything. Do these guys cost things? You don't. Interesting. It's a fun game, but it can get annoying. You can use them as scouts. Send them to the mines. Yeah, using them as scouts is not a terrible idea. I let them heal for right now. Uh, and we'll make our way to... Hmm... That's going to be some tough fights. Construction site. I'm trying to remember how big the lodge is. I, I really want these dwarven sentries, but also a construction site would go hell of a long way at cheapening that stuff. Oh, yeah. All fire flow. I forgot about this. Let's maybe do that right now. Actually, let's do that for now, because that's one turn away from the Wisp. Oh, Lord, he coming. The Wisp is ready. Also, the Goblin Shaman is ready. Who might be better off using than the Goblin Archer. Keeping workers to worker jobs because workers get nice XP from harvesting an upgrade while Gobbos get Gobbo upgrades. Mm, that's a good point. Do the units heal by banging into each other to make more goblins? I think so. I think that's how it works. They just rub up against each other at night and then poof, more goblins. Goblin leader. Every goblin ally in this unit stacks gains two willpower, two damage. Oh, wow. This unit is a goblin. All right. Well, why don't I just have a goblin army and a regular army? And I bet between the two of them, they can really get some work done. Can you attack with two armies? I don't think you can. Probably should have cast Corrode on these guys. They're all archers. Interesting. 12 armor, 9 armor. They're fatigued, minus 2 speed. Okay. I could put a barrier there, a rock barrier. Yes. Aye, General. Aye, General. Aye, General. Commander. Two focus, one action. Ah, yes. Okay, focus. Yes. That's like our magic. I'm beginning to remember. Yes. He's beginning to believe. You know what? I'm going to do that. It's going to make it really hard for any of these guys to get to me. Rawr, disordered. Okay. Rap, rap, rap. Rap, rap, rap. Yes. Rap, rap, rap. 
Crap. 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 Well, I kind of did a lot. Realistically, then. I should move up on these guys since they're all archers. No, that was a mistake. Whoo, that was a pummeling. Damn, these guys got crazy range. Yes. You can move there. Take yes. a couple of shots. You can move here. Take a couple of shots. Mm. I'm going to have you flee to get out of range. Oh, it was not enough. So close, though. I need him to cast first aid on someone. Yes. Okay, so you're going to move here. And then that takes you out of play. I'll have you kill them. Yes. I might as well move up for this attack. It'll do way more damage. And then he's locked into place. Yes. Ready? Oh, these guys are burning. Yes. That's okay. We got him. You almost always go full minus one proficiency on that chart. Yeah, I remember leaning heavy into proficiency. Charge crystals and ectoplasm. You can probably make some cool glyphs out of that. 50 health, 50 health, a hundo health. We're very wounded from that. Plus one speed, plus two gold a day. I, I'm going to have to take that. Uh, Phalanx is really good. I'm going to have both of them take Phalanx. These are Gabo Archers. We'll take Greedy. Then we're going to hide a little bit and heal. So I think I'll have these guys move up and try to kill those humans. We've got Enchanted Wisp. Transmutation. Let's go with Earth Lore. I mean... I should probably go for the All Fire before I go for Stolen Pages. Why don't we do that? We could even put the Wisp in this army so it could fight and then meld. And I could probably split both ways at the same time. The study is constructed. You get additional mana. Oh, wow. The lodge is much bigger than I thought it was. So I could put it here. I could get that cave. I could get dwarves and I could get cheap 
construction cost. That seems like probably a good idea. You must construct additional pylons. You can't. Oh, I guess I'd be fighting this guy for two of the resources anyway. Until I get rid of his tower. All right, well, we're going to heal here for a second. Uh, you guys are going to come down here. You're going to wait a turn for the wisp. Uh, one thing I'm really realizing that I'm not doing and that I should be thinking about a little bit more is crafting. I'm not taking advantage of the one thing that I have, which is the ability to make glyphs. I make all kinds of different fancy glyphs. Glyph of the seer, sure. What about glyph of the spider, though? All attacks can inflict rooted. Elemental resistance does not afflict unstoppable. Gains a bonus when attacking enemies afflicted by bleeding. I mean, we don't have anybody who bleeds. So this is not a terrible choice. A glyph of spider. A curiosity. What is this? Glyph of grave robber. charged crystal and an ectoplasm yeah I like this idea let's craft that because I could do something like put that on the earth shapers plus two focus would be really good for these guys give that to them harvest plant and mine ore you both have that? You have Harvest Plant, Mine Ore. You have Mine Ore. You don't have Harvest Plant. Oh, let's do that then. That'll speed up my harvesting here also, like, dramatically. Poof. They're tougher than I expected. Two sixty-five. Burp. Pretty much fully healed here. The circle's forces have spotted you from afar and are prepared for battle. Stay away or we will end you, their leader shouts from one of the tower's windows. 368 to 318. Hunters. Wisps. Physical and elemental resistance. Oof, that's not great. White resistance, physical shielded. And then tier three Medusas with petrifying gaze and first strike. I in too deep. Only one way to find out. Oh, I remember this battle map. I love this one. All right, so these guys have Phalanx, which is going to come in real handy here. I'm going to do something like this and then throw a barrier there. You've got a shot on those Medusas. It's not going to do much, but I'm going to have to take it.
You can heal for four, but I'm also just not really certain that's the best idea. I think I'm going to protect myself. Gobbles are stunned and almost one-shotted. Uh, crud. I eagerly click too fast. Interesting that they're deciding to hold back so much. Mm. Mm. I still get the guard though. Map reminds me of the underground dwarven highway from Dragon Age. The deep roads. Hell yeah. Huh. Damn, you do not do enough damage. This is my last heal. Yes. Mm. Mm. Yes. Mm. I mean, I feel like I have the defensive position here. Those guys do broken armor. Okay. Noted. My goblins are broken. And fleeing. Yes. There's no retreat, is there? No. Yes. So we are in too deep. Good start. Start with a restart. That's what they say. I mean, yeah, there's nothing you can do here. Wop, 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 wop. Can we just load back a save? Yes. Good. That's nice. I guess there's not Iron Man, which is probably good. So we know we got to be a little bit more stonks for that, if that's the case. means I am going to build up our forces. Would be fine fighting someone like this, even though they're flying. Out of the corner of your eye, you catch a shimmer in the air. You could have sworn this place was empty, but now you turn and see a wishing well. That, I assume, is going to be a fight. Mm. 
It is automatically a fight. Okay. All right. They're not that bad, though. And I don't have to fight it right away. Oh! My domain has expanded. You have attuned to the title of a master mage. Oh, well, I no longer need this then. We got some seeds, some wind weeds, some plant sap, and some XP. I forgot about just increasing the size of your tower. What are you? Magical Institute of the Elements, a rare apprentice academy. An elementalist. That would be good. So because this is conflicted, I don't think I'm allowed to take it. If I put a guy here, does it become unconflicted? No. Those guys are also going to beat the terror out of me because we're playing on such a high difficulty. Let's move back into our own territory. Wow, we've researched earth lore. Convert a plant into an ore vein. Oh, that's amazing. And we can pick up holy weapons. Which, while not super useful right now, is very useful once we start dealing with more undead creatures. Uh, so the tower also now has second floor rooms. Not that I have any of the resources to upgrade anything. Bum, 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 bum. A new week, a week of the Guardians, plus one world map movement, uh, but we lose minus five mana. Oh, and our watchtower is running out, which means we're about to start losing two gold. Which means we are going to need that mine really soon. So I tell you what. Approaching the Allfire Nose, you find it buzzing with activity. A swarm of insects has taken hold. Let us kill these pests. A heroic victory without losses. Auto resolve? After dispersing the giant insects, you eagerly approach the place and break through the ground, pulsating with promise. The Allfire draws you to it, its power singing. As tempting as it is, you know that outside of Circle Mages, no one can touch it and survive. Let the Wisp meld with the Node and study it. You manage to avert your gaze from the wondrous energy. So powerful is your desire to delve into the Allfire. But you do restrain yourself, focusing instead on what can be learned from observing the meld. To hell with the circle. I will conquer the Allfire. God, our apprentice has leveled up. Uh, domain Lodge upgrades are unquestionably the best thing to get from what I remember. So we're going to start with that. That guy might attack me. But I really hope he doesn't. Two twenty eight, two oh six, I believe. Get him, Gorblins. See how these goblins do against a couple of Dowie. Now, the Goblin Shaman does white damage. I'm 
which these guys have elemental these guys i think have white okay so we got our targets then are we going are? Form ourselves a little goblin palisade. Huh? Healing spores and applies berserk shrooms. Minus two armor, but plus six melee damage. I mean, it makes him a little sacrificial, but those guys are toast. Wow, they do a lot of damage. So my gobbles are definitely, definitely dead. Yikes. Uh, let's have you kill them. I have enough to heal again here. So I could heal them. They've only got one attack, like one action point. So I think that's actually the better play. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. A fine trade. Goblins are expendable. They're pretty much free. Daily regen or speed. Uh huh. I'm gonna go speed. These guys took backstab, so I'm also gonna give them speed. Found vein, a wishing well. Camp. We got Finn and Beer, Rations, and Focus Potions. And I guess what I'm going to do here is mine this ore. Have them come over next turn. I will cast Earth Lore on this. And I will also mine that ore afterwards. Uh, which does mean that these guys can actually go back. Which might be nice if we could get them maybe some more gabos. And have them actually run like a proper little mini goblin army. Y'all are healing for the turn. Everybody else is good. We're not. I could sniff for gold. Sniffa. You know what? Why not? Do that for a turn.
sifting through the materials, you notice a set of strangely marked bones. The carvings indicate some sort of notation symbol, but you can't make sense of it. However, they emit a small magical aura. The bones must have been taken from the remains in one of the nearby ruins. Let's scry the bones. You tune yourself to the bones and trace their magical aura back to where they were found. Not far away. Bone spirits. Explore this site for magical items. All right, we're going to get this ritual altar, I think, with that. I would really like this in, as it would start leveling me up with the dwarves. Ooh. Ooh. Stash, artifacts, ores, or adamantium. I want to say artifacts. Wow, that is so far away. And a shaper secret. Uh, this looks like it is in another circle mage's zone. I was not expecting to be this close to another circle mage. I could take this cave out. Uh, I tell you what, though, we kind of need to heal. I'm going to spend one turn healing, then we're going to go do this. And then we can keep on moving. We picked up holy weapons. Bless. Make your troops more formidable in combat, I guess. We might as well start. Aid. That heals. We need to craft one more thingamajigamajig. What if I did that? A glyph of owl, 20% XP bonus. I mean, it's not bad. I could put that on like my apprentice, have him level up really fast. What else can we make? Glyphs of Herbalist. Oh, that's a big waste. That one's no good. That one's Spider. All right, not much crazy. Glyph of Owl is doable. And like pretty cheap. So I think let's take that. You guys are waiting. You guys are waiting. Oh, yeah, and you guys are turbo, turbo mining. Uh-oh, grizzly bears. Uh-oh, other annoying guys. <laughs> We're just being attacked on all ends here. All right, we're a little wounded, so... We're going to want to heal up at the beginning of this fight as much as possible. Cutthroats, dwarven workers, and one set of hunters. All right, well... It is at least not that bad. Hmm. Hi, General. Yes. Hi, General. Hi, General. Commander. From downtown.
Yes. We going? Ready? I mean, I'm going to move this up, but I still got to heal that guy. Yes. Hi, General. Some nice high ground bonuses here. Those are dwarven workers. Let's try to kill off yes. those ranged units. Nice. Get a little bit beaten up there in a not fun yes. kind of way. Yes. Who's closest? So close. Nailed it. Ah, oh, this guy's got no moves. All right. Well, he gets the counter still. Thank you, computer, for delivering free experience to my doorstep. And some bandages. Well, we meld with the all fire node. We also get a plus three mana. Which is, as the kids say, poggers. 25% elemental resistance. On my Earth Shapers for extra healing. I think I'm going to go with the Elemental Resistance. They shouldn't be getting attacked that often. So if they are, I want them to take less damage. We'll put armor on these dwarves. And armor on those dwarves. I'm going to give these guys willpower so that they don't rout as often. Now, I saw some giant mole beasts over here. Mole beasts and snow leopards. 243. They outpower my goblins, but they don't outpower this army. So I guess we're going to have to level up off of them. At least we're getting stacks. <laughs> Those valuable XP stacks. All right. I remember that snow leopards can leap. Yes. Teleport to a random position next to an enemy and attack at once. And these guys apparently can burrow. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ready? So I guess we're under attack. Mm, you'd be better if you moved and then attacked. Put these guys here. Oh, wow, that's a lot of damage. All right, at least he can't attack my mage now. 18 damage or 24 physical. Let's just move back. Yes. Yikes. Who are they going to burrow and prowl on? Oh my God. So much damage. Ready? Mm -hmm. You kill him. Ah, mm. oh, man, these goblins are completely surrounded right now. I don't have a shot on those guys at all because I guess they're in the forest. 
Ready? Mm. <sighs> That's gonna take so much. Ready? Like, I don't know if I even put a heal on them right now, or if I just heal this back line. Mm. You're going to attack three times, doing 22 damage each time. You guys have a maximum of 31 health. Eight, so 22. 14 damage a hit. So they're going to do 32 HP in three strikes. So my goblins become sacrificial units. And we heal the homies nearby. Mm. Uh, and I guess using items also still takes an action. Mm. Ready? Mm. Yes. Uh, okay, so if I move here. I could put up like a bunch of barriers, but I don't think that's a good idea. I think my best option here is blast him, hit him with him. And then finish him with this guy because he can't get hit. Ready? Take a ton of damage from it. But that's okay. Yes. Ready? Oh, these Earth Shapers are pretty good at getting in here. Hey, man, as long as the dwarves survive, they're the only ones I really care about. Goblins come and go. That's what they say. But dwarves are forever. Ooh. I mean, I really want those Dwarven Sentries. The fact that I don't have control over this spot is frustrating. And that inn is going to keep pumping out guys until we kill it. All right, well, we might as well take the Goblin Shaman and add it into the main army. These guys can vibe. We're going to have to wait. Plus three white damage on all attacks. Yeah, we should probably be researching something. Oh, we're researching bless. Okay. Okay. I need the gold from here, especially if we're going to run out of two here. I, I want this to hit 45 so that I can build a workshop so I can actually afford things. <laughs> it's my real goal right now. Six copper. You got yourself a little level up. Plus two gold a day. What a G. What a good dwarf. Uh, we're going to go here and heal. You're going to go here and vibe. I could. 
get another goblin shaman. To add to this army. Does our mastery grow? Do we become a bigger, bigger fish? Next is at level 25. Plus one domain radius, plus one apprentice slot, tower rooms, and stack slots. Oh, stack slot will be really good. That lets us literally have bigger armies. All right, let's clear this out. Just in time, too. Up against crossbowmen, cutthroats, axe wielders, and workers. Some good income. The crossbowmen are a bit of a threat, but nobody else really is. I mean, yes. might as well take pot shots. Might as well, you know? Hello, Mr. Nerd. Hello. I don't know why my alert's not working. Fred sends his regards. How is Frederick today? Welcome on in, Raiders. We're playing a little Spell Force Conquest of EO. You were playing Suicide Squad. Oh my God. How was it? How did you guys find it? I'm avoiding it like the plague. Uh, we're really stoked right now because there's a new expansion coming out for Conquest of EO in like less than two weeks. Yes. So I've been getting amped up with a new campaign. Eh? Chucking rocks. Eh? Chucking rocks all day. Rep, rep. Uh, you got a decent shot here. You can keep softening him up. Is it as bad as people were predicting? He's enjoying it? Oh, that's good. I mean, that's what matters. I watched a little bit of gameplay. I think uh, Admiral Bahuru was playing it the other day that I was watching. It looked chaotic. Like there was a lot of things happening at all time. That dude just one shot my goblin shaman. Sweet Jesus. Uh, thankfully, he has to reload in between rounds. These cutthroats get first strike, but they don't do a ton of damage. But they do make me bleed. I'm going to guard with this guy because he's only got one movement left. Uh, the reload. Yes. General? Yes. Kill him. <gasps> oh, that was terrible. That was just terrible. Just terrible. Good gravy. Wow. I mean, thank God we're recruiting a new goblin shaman, I suppose. Marinara, hello. Welcome, welcome. Dude, I can't... That was insane. 51 damage to an enemy.
when in one radius of cover gets another plus three damage. All right, let's not mess with crossbow units if we don't have to. Well, the dwarves still live and they're who matter. <laughs> I still live. Call lightning, deal 30 damage to an enemy within four range. Rally plus three willpower or meditate restores up to one focus to this unit per action used. Uh, the only spell I have right now is Summon Barrier. Plus three willpower to allied units within six radius around the user. That's really good against taking a lot of damage, but the dwarves don't... seem to lose willpower very easily either they get plus one willpower i think i'm gonna take all lightning we are technically like elementalists so i'll give those guys daily regen instead of elemental resistance and then my shapers I'll give some extra health too in the mine we find copper ore and we get plus five gold a day, which is huge. Now, 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 now. I really, really want this border post. This was a very tough fight, though. Bone Spirits said it had magical stuff and what i could do is i could cast like holy weapons on my stone shaper let's move here for the 50 percent heal uh phew. do i throw a goblin in this army Maybe. Oh, I can't even get there. Because it's covered in ice. It's it's water. Tricky. Ba -ba. Well, maybe let's do the end first then. Get a little bit of extra XP off of this. Uh, we created our owl glyph, which means the artificer page is updated. Building a helper. An artificer needs a constant influx of ore. It's necessary for creation. Building minions capable of the task should be your first priority. One glyph of mountain goat and two finian beer. The bond between Glyph and Recipient is impossible to sever as one of the parishes when trying, but there are reports of dwarves who have managed this separation. Kill 10 dwarves to learn their secrets. As you wish, great magic lord. It shall be done. Uh, I am going to pop... This owl glyph on my hero so that he levels up a little faster. Unknown ore refinement. We can refine our ore into better ore. But we don't know how. I, I might sell some stuff. In order to get a bit of gold right now.
15 health. Wheats and seeds. These are catalysts. I don't really need those. I don't have a lot of death stuff right now, so I'll hold on to that. Uh, I guess let's sell... I'm going to... No, let's not sell ore. But I would like to build a workshop here. So that we can prepare to balance our cash. Uh, and we probably should at least keep crafting. I don't have enough to get you better than that. Artificers are the agents of the capital class, automating away the working class. I mean, that doesn't sound wrong. Fire wielder is not super useful. Glyph of despair. Ooh, plus one death damage. This unit's melee and missile attacks deal death damage. I like that. We don't need it right away, but could be useful down the road. If I got rid of both of these guys. They both have no XP. It's a bit of extra cash each turn. Uh, and then I would like to speed up our research to some degree. Maybe let's go with that. You get a bunch more ore. You get a wishing well. You come upon a well with a small shindled roof and a rope that falls all the way into the water. Legends say that Lady Luck resides in wells, granting a boon in return to tribute. Well, we could toss it a coin. You hear a pie pitched clink clink, and a moment later the rope stretches taut as if weight pulls down on it. The moment you touch the rope, it goes limp. You see the end is frayed and rotted away. Well, that was a good adventure. I'm glad we did that. Let's go mine this ore. <laughs> That definitely wasn't a huge waste of my time. Battle! Ah, oh, they've got another crossbowman. I'm very scared of these crossbowmen. How's it going? You're on your lunch. Haven't seen you live and, and worming. Did I finish the War Tales playthrough? We got to the end of Gosenberg and then I've put a pause on it for right now. Uh, just because February is absolutely jam packed with titles that I want to do. And that War Tales playthrough has gone on a lot longer than I thought it would. It's not to say I won't come back to it though. Ha. One action. It's all it takes for him to do 51 damage. Yes. He could one shot my hero. I didn't really just do that, did I? God damn it. Agent. Ready? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hi, General. What's more is that's barricade. So if the crossbow gets close to that, he does even more damage. Ready? I'm going to stop them from getting in those trees. Ooh, 
Ooh, interesting. Okay. General? Yes. Hey, 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 hey. Hi, General. Ham, 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 ham. All right, well. Oh, the dwarves can just climb over these mountain tiles. Well, that kind of rules. Uh, if that's the case, I'm going to have to move in. Four range, five range, five range. Ready? Yes. Yes. I can't risk Florian being one shot. So as wildly bonkers as it is. Ready? I think I've got to do these like garbage shots from a distance right now. Mm -hmm. going? This guy's got first strike. Mm -hmm. going? Uh, these combos should definitely go on guard mode. Because they're going to get attacked a lot. Okay, my plan worked. Which was have hopefully somebody else tank the hits. Uh, if I move you in here... Provides a little bit of yes. coverage. Hi, General. Oh, yeah, but we have our own other problems as well. Yes. I can kill him. Which is what I'm going to have to do. These guys have first strike, which sucks. They've got to reload. They kill on an attack of opportunity. I don't have enough to do another heal. This was my fear. Yes. Yes. I got to come in with these guys to protect those yes. dwarves. Uh, I could move once and attack them and I do more damage. Twenty eight white damage. These guys are humans, so they have white resistance, right? Yeah, they're also picking up phalanx yes. right now. I'm confident, but I don't think that's going to matter. 
when this guy one shots somebody with that crossbow right now no attack of opportunity i'm dead 43 i lived it genuinely can't believe it uh you kill him you shoot him you actually don't have any movement I can't believe that. I'm going to move and I'm going to defend with you. Oh my God. I can't believe it. Just face take the bolts with my mage. That's the plan. Another a sacrificial goblin down. Uh, but we cleared this in, which is pretty big deal, actually. 200% health, so let's rest here for a turn. I have a Shaman coming up in one turn, so I'll just wait on him. And I'm going to probably make my Lodge somewhere over here. Ideally, if I could pick up this... 100% daily regen. That's nice. Ooh, that's a very, very nice mine. Mountain bears and ice golems. Mole beasts and snow leopards. If I can get my shaman there without him being killed by all these random characters on the map, I might be okay. That's wheat. Magical water. Does that spell have to be cast in my domain? I wonder. Maybe it just has to be cast like next to one of my units. You need sight for it. Okay. Oh, I guess that's just out of sight. Please don't attack me. 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 Eee! Roar. Feral. Plus six damage against units with shielded. Uh-oh. Applies frostbite minus two armor. Uh-oh. These polar bears are going to do a lot of damage to my dwarves. They can scale these mountains. Mm -hmm. Hi, General. Oof, man, I'm really not sure what my best position here is. Ready? Yes. I want to say that. Just out of range. 
just out of range. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Hi, General. Yes. Twenty damage. Twenty-two damage. Hi, General. All right. Ugh. Broken. Yes. Get out of here. You're breaking me that early. You should not be breaking me that early. Yes. <sighs> that retaliate is disgusting. I'm getting screwed by broken right now. Oh my god. Ready? Yes. Unbelievable. Out, out, out. Routed. I can't believe this fight. We're gonna have to reload that. I would have been better out of resolving it. Yes. God, these polar bears really did a number on us. Yes. Yes. Holy moly. All right. Well, there goes my entire front line. Face taking worked with bolts. Try it with beers. I need dwarves. Yikes. I mean, the more important characters lived, which is nice. I thought I gave these guys a seer glyph. Heal 35 health of each allied unit in one radius around the user. Or Dwarven Resilience. Uh, I'm going to give you Mend. These are terrible. Terrible for you. Take armor. Yikes. Two goblins, please. I'll take your finest goblins. Some flint stones and some ore. Picked up an inn. So this mine does have monsters coming out of it. We don't know how strong they are, but the answer is probably pretty strong. And this watchtower will give us vision of the area. Damn, I am super dumb. If I put my lodge here... Instead, I'd also pick up this camp. Uh, we got to wait a couple turns for goblins anyway right now. So uh, we'll get the goblins. We'll try to clear this out. And then we'll see how we do. Workshop is under construction. The most important thing is, though, is we're getting to the rep now. 
Y'all are awaiting. So if I turn you into something, need more copper. Ah, here are dwarven sentries. They are level two. Ah, they're crossbow units. Ah, dang. Right? Like if literally this had spawned anywhere else, I would have had dwarven sentries super early. People from a nearby village come to you in search of help. Last night, our treasury was emptied. We don't have the power to go after them. And even though they left a clear trail without the gold, we cannot pay the king's tax. Yeah, I, I can help. It might take me a little bit to, uh, to get there. We've also unlocked Bless. Unit always deals maximum damage. That's pretty good. And heal. Well, I guess we'll start on heal. I don't really have any good maximum damage characters. I bet those crossbowmen would be really good on maximum damage. Uh, it's very unlikely that I don't end up needing more goblins. <laughs> so we'll start on that. What do I need for refining? Beer. Or dwarves, maybe. I am not huge on research right now. So I'm going to go more into proficiency. What would this make? A lesser glyph of bowman. It would use my glyph of despair though. Mountain Goat. Cutthroat. All attacks can inflict bleeding. 6% of physical... Maximum health is physical damage per stack of bleeding. Ignores all armor. Does not affect undead, ethereal, or constructs. It's okay. I'm not crazy about it. I'm willing to make a grave robber though. Eat that on a goblin. I don't know what I'm looking for here. That's all the crafting for now. All right. We shift the lodge. Pick up a little more extra cash. One thing I didn't like about this game is that if you're... You don't have much of an idea if you're not doing well or not. Yeah, that's true. That's very, very true. It does kind of sideline you a little bit. Or can. Tossing a coin to the well. By the guardians, thank you. I've been screaming my lungs out, but no one could hear me. Please pull them out. Yeah, I'll pull them out. A very exhausted dwarf from the well. Bloody thieves, I'll find you. I was robbed. A bunch of thieves took my chest and threw me in the well. Didn't do a great job. They don't know... What say you join me? We'll teach them a lesson and I'll pay you generously. Oh, that's so far away. 
Oh, and we're not even getting a free unit out of it. Disappointed. Take these guys out next turn. All right, we're about to run out of mana. We're about to run out of gold soon. We're getting some gold here. The inn is infinite. That camp is not. This watchtower is not. That mine is not. I'd be smart to take the mine after taking this watchtower. Wonder if I shouldn't stack a corrode. Nice. Lots of heat stone, lots of copper. Can these guys swim? No. That's guarded. All right, we're going to go like back this way. Uh, this is heroic, so let's just auto it. Take the free XP. <laughs> willpower daily regen. We'll take willpower on you. We're going to take piercing. And I'll take pack tactics. Lost and found. All right. We'll go see what this mine is about. It's probably going to be really tough, but. That's exciting in its own right. Glyph of shield. Replaces guard with shield wall. Guard and protects other against incoming attacks. Every ally in one radius gains shield wall. Let's do it. I'm really sad we lost those double phalanx guards, though. What a bummer. Uh, and I guess I did pick up more goblins, didn't I? like one of them to explore basically any 4x game yeah it's got that kind of like you don't know if you're doing bad until it's too late i think that's fair i guess we'll go down that way too we might as well scout with those goblins instead of just having them sit around and do nothing and i'll corrode those guys next turn Here we go. Ah, uh, we're going to abort that. <laughs> Yikes. Uh, wow, that is a hell of a tough fight. Orcs march to the lands before you under the banner of Rohin Tyre, a member of the Circle of Mages. It shows a star above a sword entwined with icy roses. The sword divides a sea of clouds and shines brightly in the sun, glowing with a silver light. Not far away from the group pushing a small cart full of what looks like sacks of coins. No need to eye my gold. This is not for you to have. The shimmering image of a man appears next to you and a hint of frost in his voice. You best keep away, understood. Uh, we'll stay out of your hair. Glad you know your place. We had our eyes on you for some time, and it would take no pleasure to having to discipline you, but I will if need be. He turns to leave, not sparing another glance. This guy looks like he might be some sort of artificer. Clearly using humans. He really likes us. 
which is good. Like, that's very good for us. If this is my ally right on my border... I am behooved by such a thing. Wow. Oh. A lot of bandits in these damn there hills. You're doing great. The AI pulls a move you weren't expecting and then you're frantically scrambling to counter it. Retreat. A fire dancing guardian empowers elemental effects. All your units have plus three elemental damage. Crossing a particularly tricky mountain route, you hear a distressed voice behind a steep curd. A group of miners held hostage by granite dwarves. Last chance. What will it be? The adamantium or your lives? Hold it right there, thieves. The granite dwarves look at you quickly and then offer you a deal. We want no trouble, just the metals. If you help us, we'll give you half in return. We need the adamantium, otherwise our forges will do lie dormant. Pay you to rid us of these thieves. I can't win this fight. So half the adamantium, you say? <laughs> your troops hold the miners at weapon point and the granite dwarves pack the adamantium into their own pockets, leaving half for you. Maybe knit half will show you some kindness for helping us. Leaving the miners at your mercy. Oof. Minus 30 faction rep. My mind is depleted. There's more of these mole buggers. They're all over the hills, man. This place is filthy with monsters. All right, well, I basically have no choice. I have to fight some of them, so. Game is a lot worse. The map is gigantic. We have no clue where your opponents even are, what they're doing, or who they are. Yeah. I've never found that I've gotten in, like, two over my head, though. Like, you can always kind of pivot. Well, RIP my entire back line. Oh, RIP everybody. My goblins get like one shot in retaliation. Oh yeah, I am super dead. Oof. This has got to be a reload for sure. Ready? Eh? Die, General? Eh? You'll still get an attack of opportunity if I do that. Probably don't do that yet. Oh my god, dudes. Yes. Yeah, I know this is a this is a TPK for sure. No point. I, I just throw it. Uh, we gotta reload that safe. These guys are way tougher than I gave them credit for. These mole guys are vicious. 
Uh, just because my back line is so soft. And my front line is also soft. All right, so I'm going to about face and I'm going to go for the stolen pages. I don't really see anything else being a possibility for me right now. You get out of the way, homie. Uh oh. Poor dweller. Uh, he's going to make an attempt to ransack my palace. And there's a pack of thieves. This is an adventure. You see a rather young dwarf packing in front of a cave, pacing in front of a cave. His clothes suggest he might be a blacksmith's apprentice. He's shocked when he sees you, but his expression quickly changes to one of wide-eyed revelation. You're the Grand Mage Commander. Yes, I'm lucky to meet you here. I found this old mine. I was trying to get some gold, but I lost my father's fur in the process. He doesn't know I borrowed it. Borrowed it. Could you retrieve it for me? I'll craft you any glyph of your choosing. How did you lose it? People say a monster lurks in these tunnels. Uh, well, I'm going to need to not have this squad be the one who goes in and does this. But yes, I will do my best. This is a game that came out just a bit before Age of Wonders. It is indeed. Just a couple months beforehand. Moles, leave me alone, please. Please, moles. Uh, this is heroic, so we can auto it. You gain a corrupted ruby. And your stone shaper levels up. Not getting anything good, though. This is also heroic. Flintstones are nice. Okay. Uh, I guess these goblins are going to sleep here because they're currently stopping him from coming north either. So. These guys all have mountaineering and forester. So we're going to flee that way. <laughs> no! Ah, these damn bull rats! Why don't you attack him instead of me? At least you get XP even when retreating. That's kind of nice. A new day dawns. The circle resents your growing power. Ugh. I mean, I guess let's go like here. This is now an even fight. Even though I don't think that's true. We'll give it a shot. <laughs> I feel like I got screwed by the placement of this tower not letting me get Dwarven Sentries. Like, that's the tier 2 ranged unit that I need in order to be able to do anything. Ready? Yes. And it feels like I've been extremely hampered losing that access. Yes. 
Uh, I'm going to put you here, and I'm actually going to put a barricade right there. Give me some cover. Interesting. Yes. We going? Ready? I guess they have forced my hand. Having to use a lot more of these barriers than I'd like to. Do you have a shot on anybody? Yeah. Stunned. Yes. Kurtwanged. Those guys are resistant. Now, the cool thing about Call of Lightning is that I actually don't think I need line of sight to cast it. I don't. You got stunned and it really messed you up, so we're just going to heal you. I can hit these guys with the Gabo Mushroom. And that's probably the right play. Yes. Now, I'd have a great shot on these yes. Medusa Warriors if I went right here. Ugh, but it doesn't do a lot of damage. 17. Well, I should tell you, it's rough. We going? Ready? Unreal. Low rolled it. You're dead. You're dead. barriered <laughs> Ready? Oh, I didn't realize that barrier does not end your turn which makes it a significantly better ability yikes big yikes yes hi general hi general Yes. There's not really a lot I can do here, is the unfortunate thing. Other than roll over and die. They've got a flank. Yeah. Yeah. 
it's another one of these roll over and die situations. Yes. All right, come in to me. Try that again. Really low rolling those attacks. Yeah, I got really bad luck on rolls in that fight. Multiple chunks of that fight were like one point away from killing. The big issue is like the goblins are trash. I lost the dwarf warriors, which are not much better, but they're a little bit better. And I, I just, I can't pick up sentries because of this minor overlap. And it is completely robbing me of my ability to do almost anything. So we'll try to pick up some like quests. They're interrupting my, my inn now. Process of rebuilding your master's tower is now underway and your attention turns to his grimoire. Squinting at the tiny script, you realize it forms instructions. They seem to point a little bit away from the tower. Lost spell pages. <laughs> I also love that all of these quests are out here like on the ice where I like it's very difficult for me to get access to oh I can't come up here all right well let's do that then if we can't do some things we might as well do what we can Pick up a little bit of ore. Shield crafted. I don't really want to use that yet, though. Oh my God. These mole rats are merciless, dudes. Dwarven Vault. Finally. Finally, some good technology. Mastery 21. Mastery 25. Mm. I'm going to shift over to 8. I don't know what the better choice is here. 320, you try to advance on the place, so you find your master's grimoire, but a group of beasts are guarding the place. A bunch of jelly critters. All skills cost no focus plus five ability damage. That's interesting. Mango, hello. Super surprised to do that. Paradox guys are usually friendly and chill. He was having a bad day. You saw a streamer poo-pooing all over this. That's interesting. <laughs> that seems like a bit of conflict of interest. Bruh. Oh, these guys are all ranged attacks. Probably not the greatest idea to roll in like this, but. We going? Hi, 
Oops. Oh, I wish I had some AOE spells. Okay, so this guy has an ability called Mend, which heals around him. Costs one action to use. So why don't we go in, come in here, Mend. Because heals are currently free. Call Lightning is not affected by range, which is really nice. Uh, and these guys do white damage, so using healing spores. Is actually fine. Because they're not affected by armor. Ow. Big Al. Yes. We going? Uh, we're gonna put you in here. Hi, and we're gonna put you in here, and we're gonna cast Mandiv. Yes. And then. Yes. Eh? Yes. That's a guarantee. Oh. oh my gobblerinos! Yes. Eh? Eh? Whatever, we make progress. They are yes. really getting the rolls over on me in all of these fights yes. in like a disgusting way. <laughs> like I am low rolling every every fight and they are high rolling every fight. Having beaten the beasts back, you approach the Grimoire's missing hiding places. The Grimoire's missing pages hiding place, marked by a strange shimmer in the air. Lights dance and swirl all around, leaving you slightly strange headed. Guardian five. No, I'll do what I can to protect us. We become fatigued. You are confronted by a dark, gaping hole. When you throw down a torch, you catch a glint of light in the depths, a reflection of metal. You send someone down attached to a thick rope, and sometime later they return with a small box. Inside lies one of the missing pages. The moment the page is taken out of a small chest, it disintegrates, leaving behind only specks of light and dust. An illusion! All of your effort wasted. Grants backstab and damage on flanking attacks. And we got some level ups. Woof. Woof, 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 woof. Well, at least my stone shapers are alive. He says. Not certain that that's going to last. Well, at least I have a ton of money. Can you not? Uh, there goes my uh, my apprentice minion. Man, we're getting licked right now really badly.
Oh, he's just gonna hunt me down, man. Doesn't matter what I do, I literally can't get away from them. Camp depleted. Yikes. Spellforce is back. You may lose a unit, a single unit. How hyped are you for the DLC? I'm extremely hyped. Extremely, very, very hyped. Sure this run is a W dead end. I mean, I remember the other runs going pretty similar, similarly. All right, these guys are very, very weakened. I think they just attacked whatever that circle mage was. Rowan has made sure to claim even more gold deposits across Fiera in order to finance his newly built force. Okay. Cool story, bro. Watchtower depleted. You make things out of adamantium they give you pure glyphs interesting glyphs of slaver Tome of the Spider. Ooh. Deal 14 damage to an adjacent enemy applies cocooned. All the attacks can afflict rooted. Unit loses all actions at the start of a turn for two turns. That's very good. This is also very good. A glyph of necromancy. These are like weapons. You can equip these. What other cool things can I make here if that's the case? Pure glyph of bowmen. Do not suffer from range penalties. Glyph of Eel. Deal 4, 16 white damage to each enemy unit within two radius around the user. Plus six against flying units. Shield of the shield. <laughs> Plus four willpower grant shielded. That's quite good. Ever plan on playing the first game in the series? Got to go deep into the lore. At some point, I'd, I would really like to go back and do the old Spellforce stuff. Life Giver heals daily to 100% health. This unit and every ally in its stack. Oh, that's very nice. Can't quite get that up any higher. I don't quite have enough for that to get three as well.
plus 10 elemental damage. What is this fun if I do like one of each? Pure Glyph of Leader. Minus 100 to willpower loss from all sources. Well, wow, that's very nice. Basically, you never route. What was that necromancy? It was this and not necromancy, the, the, the spider book. No, it was. This, this. Triglyph of Blight. How did I do it? I thought it was two of those. One blue and purple. Ah, that was it. Oh, it's actually only one and one. But it needs to be adamantium. To an adjacent enemy. Oh, Cocoon is a melee attack. Uh, that makes it much not as good. Yeah, I don't know. I want to use that adamantium yet. Bruh. Get off my D. I might get double teamed here. Snipers. Daily regeneration, domain of the circle, domain of you, willpower, armor, and damage. Uh, I'm going to auto resolve this. And. Ah, I actually figured I'd only lose the goblin, but it gave me a heroic victory. Uh, these guys just run my backline down. Like, there's actually no chance that I would have won that on a regular fight. And unfortunately, now I have to fight them again. Can I level up my guys before we go in here? Might make the slightest difference. Unreal. Unreal. Light Javelin. Deal 24 damage to an enemy unit in 5 range. A slightly longer range version of Call Lightning. Oh, it also attacks multiple times. And costs three focus. God damn. Earth Armor. Apply Earth Armor to an allied unit within three range. 50% physical resistance. Or Command. Refill action of an allied unit. Uh, this physical resistance could really help. White is not super useful up here. But everything is doing physical damage to us. And it doesn't end your turn. Oh, that's really nice. The tower grows. You've become a grand mage. Oh my god, we can also have six units in our army now. Report of news crosses your desk, written up by scouts, indicating a note on tensions between orcs and elves. It tells you Yeria, the Circle Mages, has quelled an outburst of violence. Been a long road and many compromises were necessary, but this is proof that peace will prevail. Kill those dweebs. Move these guys up as well. Attack, 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 speed. 
Health. Melee damage. Okay. Ah, we've killed 10 dwarves, so now we can rip glyphs. Recover all the glyphs invested into a target unit. This glyph will be returned to your inventory and the unit slot will become empty. Mine 10 ore. I'm also like pretty sure I spent one of those beer really early on. I have no one who can mine. We're going to go up to Bone Spirits. The buzzing of flies and the puddle of fresh blood draw your attention. Nearby tracks lead you to a boulder behind which you see the mauled remains of a large deer. On one side, the tracks are those of large paws. On the other side, leading away, are those of orcs. Could this have been Gore's doing? So it looks like we have some sort of like money human guy. Some sort of peaceful lady, and then some sort of orc dude. Bone spirits. I for sure should cast something like holy weapons. Coming in here. He does white damage. He mostly heals. I do white damage. You know what? I don't think I do need to cast that. The runes show obvious traces of ancient battlegrounds, skeletons and broken weapons littering the place with one of the towers relatively intact. And by a crumbling wall, there's a stairway that looks like it le might lead up to a cellar. A little further away, there's a small and nondescript earthen mound. We're an earth master. Let's search the mound. As you make your way closer to the earthen mound, you see rusted spears and pieces of armor carefully placed in the tall grass. A small number of the battle's fallen soldiers were buried here. Start digging. Your troops start digging into the mound and you find more skeletons, all kinds, rustling and rotting armor. Digging deep, an angry moaning wail escapes from the earth and a horde of ghostly figures rises up around you. Oh, we don't even fight that. Goblin's taking a lot of damage there. Defeated, the spirits fade, letting you continue your work. You find a red totem bag filled with bones carved similar to the ones in the tower. They come in useful, but as you pack up and leave, the angry mound of ghosts starts to fill the whole ruin, swearing revenge on the defilers. I'll take it. <laughs> Why not? Giant pumpkin patch. I stay out of their territory just to heal a little bit on this turn. Uh, and then I guess I'll start hunting down thieves. Crafting duration minus two. The all fire investments are no longer like doubled. So we can start putting some money back towards research. Also, we hit Grand Mage, which is a pretty important one. Actually, we should probably put like a fair bit of points towards research right now. Let ourselves chill out a little bit. Some good loot. Give you speed. I 
we'll start working our way up here. Wow, we still haven't got the ability to like move the tower yet. Which I think is the Finian beer. Uh, we do have half turn on crafting though. So why don't we see if there's some stupid stuff we can put together. Whiff of the vampire is not very useful. Whiff of spider. Kind of useful. Glyph of Guardians. Attack of Opportunities do not consume actions. I'd mess with that. Glyph of the Bowman. I mean, I do want one of those. Says all attacks inflict bleeding. Unit is immune to burning. Could be nice. Why not? Like, I don't want to give any of the guys, like, until they hit level five, I almost, like, don't want to give them any glyphs whatsoever. Death damage, mine or bloodthirsty undertaker. Yeah, I also don't really have good glyphs for you right now. Ah, good. An endless supply of moles are destroying my apprentice lodge. Whatever will I do? The villagers are in an uproar over a recent theft. The shops have been closed to ensure nothing else is stolen. Ah. I see. The gnawed bones of small animals still glittering in the coal are your only signs to say you're on the right track. The trail goes a little further, indicating the raiding party moved on. Nobody move! I see a wire, I say as an artificer. Thanks to your sharp eyes, you avoid the wire and guide everyone safely out of camp. Snatch a few things, including beer, off the ground. Which means invest. We can now summon minions. For the creation of powerful artifacts, supernatural heat is required. I will have to kill and bind a great fire golem to my forge. Need mana, I do. Uh, the other thieves are all the way up there. Which is nowhere near me. This is an inn, though. So if I'm going to lose one lodge, I could move the other here. Kill these dweebs. Can't let them get away with it. Little willpower, a little daily regen, a little pack tack, a little treasure. <gasps> oh my god, this is the Dwarven City. Windholm, I think. Something like that.
If all those moles are here, that means they're not up this way. It means I can run and steal this stuff. Now, I was a little bit worried about that happening right now. I don't think I can get the earned returns. Dwarven Vault, three gold a day, find 10% more loot. And elemental weapons. Well, it looks like I can just make it back. You found resist elements. You found a stone golem. And an all fire node. Ooh, that's spicy. Thankfully, just pillaging the tower. I mean, I don't want to be pillaged either, so. <laughs> oh, I don't think I can reach it. <gasps> Corrupted adamantium. The Heart of the Hollow, Silver Drift Mine, produces weekly adamantium when inside your domain. Okay, well, that's clearly where I should have put all of my efforts into going. Oh, wow, they gave, they gave me the heroic. I just know those guys do so much damage. It's like impossible to hurt them otherwise. All right, well, my towers have been pillaged. But I had a lot of gold to spare. A cautious knock on your door calls you away from a window. You see a dirty, slender boy looking up at you. My name's Phil Eight. I've become a strange dream on me. When a dark shower of night falls, I see a book in a tower much like yours, suddenly ripped apart by shadow. Sometimes I awaken in strange places, not knowing how I got there. I can't explain it. Can you make it stop? Uh, stay here for now. I'm going to make some observations. I promise to make myself useful. Take me in and have an ear in every room. A knife on every throw's foe's throat. Oh, hell yeah. A hero. He's a melee hero. Human mortal white resistance teleports to any position. Okay, so he's like an assassin. Philo leaves the room and for a moment you think you catch a dark shadow following out of the corner of your eye. As soon as you focus on the boy, the mirage vanishes. <gasps> He's my hero character. Oh, cool. Do you have a good advantage of stone armor? You can do three of those in your first apprentice turn. An orc hero? That's very cool. Philo is merely a boy. Despite this, there is shadow in his eyes. I know not what he's guarding, but I will get to the bottom of it. Um, he is obviously much better with the weapon of the cutthroat than I am. Plus one melee damage, a backstab. Can I put him in my army? Like if I was to kick you out, no. Uh, 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 uh.
can inflict bleeding, damage on flanking attacks. Attacks of opportunity do not consume actions is probably really good on him. So I'm going to give him that one. That is technically a fire golem. It's a lesser fire golem. But maybe it still counts. Prentice Lodge is down there. I'm not sure what to do with this guy because I can't really give him an army and I don't really have any good units. did not count elemental weapons enhanced units melee and ranged attacks deal additional elemental damage no just deal elemental damage and can inflict burning and we picked up experience gain all right well seems useful trog hello I don't really love my spells right now. Plus four corrupted adamantium. No entry without a permit. King's orders. More corrupted adamantium. I don't know. Do you think we can take it? We've leveled up a lot. If I could get these goblins to level 5, they'd be in a better position. I guess I could hunt down the rest of these thieves and maybe kill some cave stuff up here. You know what? Let's do that. He's got 113 HP. Would he be better off leading this army than I am? Hard to say. I could use him to go scout the uh, the Dwarven city. Oh, never mind. After a hard day walk, he suddenly stops in his tracks. This is the tower from my dreams. There's the dark spot at the top, almost like it burned. Oh, all right. Well, there's his quest, so. I guess we'll pull him back and go that way. Clearly, I'm going to need to kill off these wild animals as well. As we dig, dig, dig for ore. <gasps> Corrupted adamantium does count for recipes. Corrupted glyph. Raid tomb. Oh, I love that. What else can you give me? Soul cage. Poisonous touch. Defy death. Corrupted vampire glyph. So Defy Death is like the best ability in the game. <laughs> no regeneration makes things a little bit more complicated, but as long as I have a healer in the army, that doesn't matter. This is the kind of thing like you put on all of your frontline troops. And then you just sacrifice them in every fight. How goes the spell force in today? Pretty good. Pretty good. We're mostly getting whooped, actually, but I'm having a fun time with it, so. How does it stack up against the Age of Wonders 4? It's similar, but different. If that helps.
It's, um, I think the combat is better. It's tighter. The replayability is less, but it's still very good. It's still like you, a 120 hour game. Uh, if you do it three times, which like, it gives you interesting different systems to make you want to play it more than once. Uh, I quite like the storyline and the balance and stuff as well. We're having a bit of a like rough luck on this run right now, but minus three damage grants meditate grants guardian mend. That's very good. Like I could put this on my um my 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 remaining dwarf right now who doesn't really attack very often. Giving him the ability to meditate means he can cast heals every single turn. And this would give him a third type of heal. So he'd have a single target burst heal, he'd have an area of effect super heal. Then he'd have a buff heal for small targets. I'm going to use that. 120 hours. Yeah. Pick it up on Xbox for 30 at the moment. It's good value. Yeah. Yeah. One campaign is 40 hours. And like the game has three good base campaigns. It's the same campaign, but it's like a, you're in a different part of the world. You have entirely different units. You have like a different spell focus. So like we're an artificer instead of an alchemist or a necromancer. It's enough that I think it warrants like the multiple playthroughs. Considering the game wasn't made by a large studio, it's really good. Yeah, yeah. And we have DLC just about to come out. Spellforce is great. Uh, there's new Spellforce stuff coming out. Yeah, in two weeks. Which I am hella jazzed for. Just want to see. Ooh, excuse me. What other kind of stuff I can make here? The corrupted items are really funny. Healing this unit in battle is 20% less effective, but all attacks inflict poison. Good on like an archer. This is a corrupted glyph, but it's not really corrupted at all. Cannot enter guard stance, but enemies cannot retaliate against this unit. Craft me some corrupted glyphs. I don't know who I'm going to put that on, but that's really good. Got me reinstalling. It's now's a good time. Never been better. Uh, so we're going to have to temporarily give our army over to old Philo here. He's going to make his way up to do this quest. While traveling Draycott's cold landscapes, you encounter a dwarven militia. We're looking for a lost delivery wagon. Have you encountered roughly 10 dwarves with a wagon? Uh, no. The dwarves sigh. They were supposed to bring supplies to the adamantium mines, but never make it. If you come across them, we'll reimburse you for bringing them home. We might have killed those guys. <laughs> Robbed them of their adamantium.
Um, you know what? If you're just sitting here doing nothing. Really, you can't get both, can you? That's not what I want to do to do at all. I'll go back, try to remake that. We might be able to take this mine on an auto resolve. Just thinking. Uh, in the meantime, I can at least get the rep from this in. All units gain plus one level up options. That's dope. Uh -oh. Silver Drift Hollow, the mining capital of Windwall. Ore of sparkle in every cave, and the ground is rich with minerals, giving everything the silver sheen that earned the settlement its name. It's mostly inhabited by miners and smiths, but traders come from far and wide to buy stuff as well. Uh, we have to immediately about face so I don't get mole ratted. Dude, this place is covered with corrupted adamantium. Uh, you're going to get killed by that mole rat, so you have to flee. Actually, if I was to put that there, that would not be a bad spot. You're going to go do Philo's quest. 180 hours in it. Nice. That's very nice. Bunch of games on my wish list are there. Thanks to watching Agent play them or that says there were solid games. That's what I'm here for more than anything else. I'd argue. You know, I should move my um, camera over a little. I just realized I'm blocking stats. Army stats are kind of important. A large clack Crack splits one side of the tower open, barring the interior to weather and wind. Parchment notes, splinters, and rubble that litter the ground. Dark matter is smeared everywhere as though a shadow tried to rip the tower apart from the inside. Philo says, I've been here before. We should visit the top tower. The interior is fairly good shape. A few small creatures have evidently explored, but aside from that, it's recognizable living quarters of a mage. The higher you climb, the messier it gets. It's as though shockwaves pushed everything to the walls, toppled shelves, and destroyed vials. At the topmost room, you halt in the doorway. The floor is covered in dried blood. What you can only assume was once a human body lies flattened in the room, centered. Everything else is covered in sulfur and coal dust. A dark leather-bound book lies almost hidden under debris. This guy looks like a demon, you know? <laughs> A shadow darts forward with astonishing speed, grabbing the book. Philo turns to you, his eyes glowing like white-hot coals, his body draped in darkness. A toothy grin splits his face in half. Finally, we meet, mage. It was about time the boy gave me some space. Oh, he's possessed by a demon. Who are you, or rather, what are you? I am Mathugar, demon lord of a world beyond your reality. The fool who was spread across the room summoned me, thinking I would grant him power. His death was swift, but you? You are a mage of real power. You will free me of this weak body, and I shall serve you for that. He holds the tome out for you to take, awaiting your response with the casual expectancy of a noble. So here's the deal. The next playthrough is going to be the Demonologist DLC. Where I'm clearly going to be doing a lot of deals with demons. I think in this situation, I'm going to say I don't deal with demons. The offer recedes and the grin vanishes. Philo shakes his head, holding the tome tightly. The shadow around him retreats once more as he groans painfully. When he can focus, he's more paler than ever before. I remember now, he was a mage. He lured me here with a spell and used me to summon a demon, but something went wrong. Oh, guardians, please help me find a way to get rid of it. I'll need some time to research this. The Book of Master Horacus. Yeah, 
Yeah, we'll focus on that. Come wipe out this cave. And then those thieves. Uh, and I'm going to make a lodge right here. First time it took me to ages to realize how to move my tower. Yeah, I'm still trying to get that ability right now. Which is a bit annoying and problematic. <laughs> I think I need to kill a fire golem. These guys are going to kill me if I get in range. So I better not do that. Dude, I love misclicking today. Can't get enough of it. Ruins site. Alternatively, I could put a thing here, get this construction site and drain the two of these locations. Which realistically, I think it makes more sense. Healer! This unit will restore 20 HP among units uh, each day. Does not affect undead. And he gets first aid. Wildfire. Target a burning enemy and spread burning to enemies in two radius around it. Or vigor. I'm going to give you healer. First strike. Blinding powder. Or battle cry. Plus two melee damage. To all units around it. Blinding powder, first strike, or poisoned touch. Backstab, greedy, and willpower. Why not give him a bit of abilities to do some other things? Uh, we'll chill here for a day so we can heal. The price of curiosity. A giant crystal has been brought into the city square. Even from afar, you can see that something is encased in it. A dwarf. Why is knowing helping him? Glam rig. You see the dwarf in a leather smithy apron approach the crystal with a large pickaxe. His eyes are red and swollen from crying. He swings hard and his axe barely leaves a mark. The dwarf hits the crystal a few more times to no avail before answering in a panicked tone. My brother and I found a shaper ruin. Glamoring stumbled and something hit him. I don't know what happened. I can help, but it will drain me greatly. You must concentrate utterly on the task at hand, pumping your magic into the crystal and willing it to break. Seconds become minutes in an hour. The best you can do is make minor fissures appear on the hard surface, but no cracks run deep enough to free the dwarf. It is another 30 minutes before you finally spend enough of your magic to shatter the crystal into large chunks across the square. Glamrig! You hear them cry out. Garim! Everyone holds their breath as Garim openly weeps. It is only when he calms down that he hands you a hastily drawn map. This is where we found the Shaper Ruin. Plus 20. God, these guys hate my guts. Dwarven workers, miners, lanterns, workers, mountain copper, sky iron, sky iron, and adamantium. And miners guild is the top level tower. Yeah, this is clearly the place to be for an artificer. Uh, there's also lots and lots of ore around here that I can start digging. So this is going to be our plan. Love buff goblins. Our goblins have not been staying alive very well. 
Yeah, all right. I guess I'm not hunting down thieves. Little off your way, there's traces of a rock slide. There could be people buried under it or treasure. After some reading around, you had to find a handful of coins. Thank you for your gifts. Get that started. Get that started. We'll keep cruising. Okay, interesting. <laughs> the circle got attacked by bandits who are now looting the tower. The tome that Philo has given you, or rather that Matharugar gave you, turns out to be both diary and study journal. The owner, Horux, tried to control the demon's power by imprisoning it in the boy's body. His soul must have resisted, repressing the dark invader. A soul stone was used in the ritual, and it might just be what is necessary to reverse it, but it could also cost one of their lives. The book also mentions a great general of new purity in some of the notes. Okay. A soul stone. And a bunch of dwarves. Well, first, let's kill these guys. Why would I lose four characters in this fight compared to what we normally lose? Clearly his army is much better than mine. Now I'm losing the fight. Yes. Oh, man. So these guys suck because they just rush my back line. They're weak to fire. Hi, General. Yes. We going? Eh? We going? Yes. I general. I need to like Yes. Summon a collection of barriers to protect me here. Damage. Yes. Ready? Uh, yes. Ready? Okay. Battle cry. No, that's not what I wanted to click. That completely screwed me. I'd really love uh, a back button for misclicks. I guess yes. I don't foresee them doing anytime soon, but boy, would it be nice. Okay. Okay. 
Fire General? This is still workable. You're going to heal him. You're going to defend. Yes. You're going to blind this guy. like I had this figured out and now I'm not really so sure that I do confidence yeah you're dead Very good. And I can't get through any of my units to the back row here. I could buy myself a minute of time by summoning another barrier. But it ain't really going to do much for me. I feel like we haven't been able to get tier two units this entire game, and it's just completely like this. I'm I'm in such a bad spot here. We going? Hi, General. We going? Reddick. We going? Reddick. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, like, even though these Earth Shapers are spellcasters, they're actually able to hold up because they're at least leveled and level two. I'm just throwing this today. The amount of misclicks we've made in fights has been outrageous. I kind of feel like restarting because we've gotten in such a bad position and we haven't been able to break out of it. We haven't been able to get tier two units. And I'm worried that by the time I'm going to be able to get tier two units, it's going to be like we're going to have to be a tier three. Like we're no longer fighting tier one at all. We're completely outmatched. Hard to say. Dormont, thank you for the posture check. Favorite game? Don't mind more content for this? No, not at all. Nothing ever goes bad when dealing with demons or devils. No loopholes or fine prints. Further, thank you for hanging. 
Hey, oh, yo again. No stone armor. Yeah, the stone armor makes. But just like, look at the difference between. I take 18 to 27 versus 39 to 60. Right? I actually think losing those two dwarves off the top tanked us. Like, tanked us completely. And not being able to get sentries. Like, that that was the big that was the big kicker. We just got bad placement on the sentries building. And so I've been stuck having to using goblins instead of dwarves. Lads, I think I'm going to reroll it. Easier to protect your back line with a lake. Yeah, I mean, I could have definitely done that one a little bit differently. Mage dwarf guys have natural 50% physical resist. Uh, no, like 20. Uh, oh no, 50. You're right. And then we have 40 from elemental resistance. I just feel like we're really far behind. Let's do it. Because here's the other part about this. I'm also wondering whether or not we don't take Guardian. I don't really think it's right. I think for what I want to do, Earthmaster and Enchantment make way more sense. Because what I want to do is I want to buff my characters and Guardian just gives you a bunch of like healing options and light damage. And that doesn't really feel like the right choice. So I feel like Earth Master of Enchantment makes a lot more sense. Summon and improve fantastical monsters enables your troop to reach remote places with ease and research new spells faster. That tracks more for me. I like that idea more. And we can still hang out in Dracot. But I also kind of know to like beeline towards a certain location now. Remote mountain region. Yeah, we'll stick in Dracot. You know what? Yeah, let's let's start it today. There's a part of me that's like, what if I start it next next week? Hot and fresh. But no. I believe. I believe we can do it today. Get a little start in at least. All right, so what do we got? We got looters with torches and we got cutthroats with throw knives, first strike and serrated blades. We going? <laughs> we going? For some reason, my archers are hella in the back. Oh, you can move on mountains. I forgot about that. Now, you surprisingly don't do that much, though. All right. We're going to go for him first, then. 
soften them up. These guys have first strike, so I'm actually just going to move forward and guard. Which is definitely the better choice. And then I can move here and I can get a flank, which counters the first strike. That's another thing is I was not playing very well with flanking um, for the entire first game. Because I keep forgetting if you move in, the flanking is worth it just to not take the retaliation. And then it also spins them so that the next characters don't have to take a retaliation either. Unit always deals maximum damage. That's very nice. Purplest, Grave Robber, and Healthy. Already, this feels like a better start. Extra gold. We've only got room for one, right? Yeah, that's correct. So I'm going to grab a Goblin Shaman right off the bat this time as well. Because it is the better choice as it buffs all the other Goblins. Our tower can start building a... Now here's a question. I could actually start building the workshop right away instead of the glyph smithy. It would slow me down on some things, but it would pay for the shaman and give me plus one gold. I mean, are the glyphs really all that useful to me off the top? One thing I would like to know is if a character dies, do I get its glyphs back? I feel like the answer is definitely no. No, they're gone. Okay. I'm going to build a workshop. And I better hope this gives me cash. We're going to do all the reading. Hell yeah. Now we can get both. Sniff gold. Uh, we might as well just get the wisp first. And actually, I'm at a full heal, so I might as well move uh, a bit anyway. We grab this mana stash next. Smithies constructed. Craft four glyphs or artifacts. I don't have any materials right now. I guess it makes the most sense to send him there and just start digging. Grab those guys to grab mana. And then, like, grab these books. And then back. I 
That's almost enough to get a study. I can get the study next turn. Uh, I will not let the circle stop me. We have a hamlet nearby. We're not going to fight these guys. Show them you mean no harm. Well, ask why they're so hostile. Let me trade you for them. Let us trade. Yes, trade. Give them some cantrips. Pleasure doing business. I'll see if I can find out more. Now we actually have stuff to craft. Sky iron. Greater glyphs. Uh -huh. <laughs> I need a glyph of mountain goat for one of the unlocks, so let's craft that right away. I can't remember what exactly that is, but... Dangerous endeavors and another mana stash. Uh, let's grab Earth Lore. Turn plants to ore. Think there's a spell later to remove them from the character? A living one? Yes, there is. So I, I did see that unlock last time. Seven mana. There's a construction site. Okay. More banditos. More banditos. You're in a really bad spot, goblins. You're in a really bad spot, goblins. Workshop's up in one turn. I, I, did they retreat okay? They retreated okay. Well, there's the all fire I'm looking for. Uh, these dudes need to heal though. They can get all the way back to the tower. So we'll chill here. We'll have a goblin archer in one turn and then we can make our way back out. You're going to cast that and you're going to pick up freeze water. What a great spell to have up in this location. Enchantment was a much better choice for us to take, I think. Boo, hello. Don't take the last four hours off me. I successfully became the ruler of Arrakis in that time. Better yet, unalived to Duke Lido. Duning it up. Uh, and let's get that study built. I forgot to do that earlier. Mountain copper ore. More ore. This goblin needs to heal a little bit more. A crowd clusters around a young man in front of a local tavern. He looks like he's seen a horrid fight, all torn and bruised. He's telling a tale, feeding his dog meaty treats. Stay away from the caves. Those blasted snow leopards charged right at me. Of course, I was scared out of my mind, but Sam here jumped in. I dragged myself away while my little boy fought like it was nothing. You're a hero, Sam. You hear me? A hero. The dog is not little, but definitely delighted with his snacks and certainly a hero. To Sam. We'll raise a glass. 200 versus 195. They're going to chase me. We can craft another something something.
Certainly not that. Uh, I kind of just need to craft glyphs right now, so I might as well just get crafting. Plus five mana a day. Hell yeah. The local militia wants to talk. Those are all the dwarves. Might I try my luck taking out some of these guys? I feel unlikely to be successful. I feel even more unlikely to be successful against them. The thing with taking these dwarves is it will upset the militia. Like, if I take this, it uh, it upsets the Dwarven town to the west. But it also gives me very good units. Correction, it gives me a good unit. And a watchtower for 10 turns. Uh, <laughs> Goblins strong together. So I'm going to keep that dwarf out of the group right now. And I'm going to try to fight fights I probably shouldn't be trying to fight. Do you like the dwarves? We do like the dwarves. They are our jam. I'm trying to make like a dwarf dwarf army and then like golems and magical creatures. That's my hope. Uh, you're all melee characters. Why can't I go there? You just can't go there. I don't think I've thought this out very well. No, this might work. They're all in local range right now. Ah, this guy does shoot through trees, though, so he takes a huge debuff. This guy's the tier two. He is easily my biggest threat. Yuck. The first strike there is so much damage. I have a chance of killing them. 
That sucks. I'm getting killed on rolls again. I've whiffed this pretty bad. <laughs> Unreal! Unreal! <laughs> Losing all my goblins from one HP rolls. I mean, they're frontline goblins. They are expendable. That's what they're meant to be for. But it's still foolish. A foolish thing to lose units on. Y'all might as well meet up. Got two more of these to craft, so let's get two in the fire right now. not allowed ah these lesser glyphs of healthy I should really be making more of because then I could just start stacking like plus 10 health on many of my troops Like, why not add 10 health on this guy? Consumable heals. Uh, it still, like, takes an item to use a consumable heal. It takes a turn to use a consumable heal. And I didn't have any anyway, so. Artificer, you should use glyphs like alchemists use potions all the time. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely starting to get that vibe. <laughs> The only thing I can do is basically just sacrifice stuff to make the same thing. And I'm willing to do that right now because it's for unlocks. Gobbles are just undeniable trash even if you buff them. Yeah, I mean, they're expendable. They literally have those as a trait. Uh, skip to the end. I agree. So, see, how much better is this location compared to this one? So now I'm actually going to get Dwarven Centuries, which actually gives me access to Tier 2 troops. Instead of being completely denied them, the only thing I'm being denied here is a cave. So much better. Same character. Still trash. <laughs> You've got mining boost. Giving you mine ore wouldn't do anything. I can now put my all fire flow completely into proficiency and focus on getting level 10 here. You picked up freeze water. Summon jelly. These uh, do white damage. They're white damage tier one units uh, ranged. I don't love them, but I'll still take them. I'm going to have to stop him, which is 336. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for him to move in. 
And I'm going to rush them with goblins. And then I'm going to clean them up with dwarves. And I'm going to stack a corrode on him early. Our study is constructed. Mining a gold vein grants you three nuggets. Yeah. If I attack them from here, I'm just wondering if I'll get the study. No. Okay. We going? We going? We going? Oh, we going. We going? Interesting. He has a flank. If I moved here, kind of hilarious, but I'm going to do this. Now you have a flank. Goblins, you have served yourself exactly as I needed you to. Godspeed. My sacrificial little lambs. Perfect. He has 7 HP. It's exactly the level I need him to be for my dwarves to come in and clean up crew. Maximum tactics. I have a dwarven worker in this group? Oh, I don't really want that. But I'll keep them for now. Uh, those are barriers. Yes. Ready. Throw hammer. Nice. He's going to break that down for me. Yes. Start yeeting hammers. Yes. 
Yeah, oh, they do so much. Yes. 18 to 27. I move there. Sizable damage. Could throw a hammer at him. And then have this guy come in here. He'll get like really good cover. Ow. I will take him more damage than I anticipated. Yes. Oh my god. The low rolls are too much. I mean, you might as well just guard. Yes. Ready? Yes. We're fine. Don't worry about it. Should have healed before I killed him. Gotta really help myself out. But heroic victory and LOL, lots of levels. You're gonna give you swimming because you're gonna leave this army. I'll give you elemental resistance. And my shapers, why not? Mountaineer. You do not naturally have Mountaineer? That's brutal. You don't either, so... Take Gold Affinity. And I will take Regen. Now, now, now. So I have two mages. If I have one slot, it seems best that it's... goes towards him. I think that should be clear. So let's wait here a minute to heal. We've made all of our glyphs. We need Finian beer. We need to kill lots of dwarves. Our study is built. Workshop, glyph, smithy, everything. So we're actually making like really good. All of our all fire is into proficiency and we're still like cooking on all of this, which is great. You know what? I might as well make also another brawler. We just picked up Dwarven Sentries! An Alchemical Apprentice. Interesting. Dwarven Sentries. 51 damage, crossbow shot. Has to be reloaded. Plus six damage against units with armor. And elemental resistance. Yeah, they're going to be so good. I don't want to wait for my lives to be over. Trying to think where the best locations. We don't have an inn. Ah, oh, the inn is way up here. Pretty sick snipers if you get lucky on upgrades. Yeah, I think there's an upgrade that's also like if they're in cover, they automatically reload. And the stone shaper 
thing that you can make counts as cover. Perfect. So. I want more of these. Uh, which actually means I need to harvest plants. Dwarven windweed would probably work. You think there's an upgrade that's just auto reload? Oh, okay. Well, that's even better if so. Uh, I'm unlikely able to take any of these groups. So I think what I'll just do is scout a little bit. That's a shrine with a blessing. That could actually be really nice for us. And this is a good fight. I'm trying to think of places I can put our um our lodge as well. So these guys don't have mountaineering. No. These guys do. But they don't have archers. And I do. Yes. Get it. Mm -hmm. Uh, correction, they have the guys who throw fire. Yes. No, I'm not the most concerned about them. Get it. Still getting some like brutally low rolls. Oh, you could actually just run down and fight them. You have Mountaineer. But it won't kill him. Ouch. Uh, you're probably going to need to heal me. Low rolled again. for these guys because I think I can wipe them out with them. Yes. I yes. I we'll give them the shot. All right. Good victory. We get a good blessing out of it as well. I have to get snipe ability can go like seven range. Lucky on both abilities. Pike and shot with the human halberds as front line. Interesting. Nice. And we picked up a Finian beer and we killed three dwarves here. Both of their things that we need. Yeep. Blessing. Unit always deals maximum damage. That's quite the blessing. Construction site. Plus seven treasure. Uh... Man, I kind of feel like I should just probably build the lodge like right here.
Take the construction site. Take the watchtower. I could just do that. That's not a bad idea. For right now. I'm mostly waiting on troops anyway. And then what I'll do is I'll stack a corrode and fight these guys with the sniper in like two turns. Happy about killing Dawi. Sorry, but that's going in the book. Scry on dead bones. Okay, bones over there. Village gossip, a couple of ice golems. Three turns now instead of four. You're going to build a lodge. You're going to get me some backup goblins. Yeah. Oh, no, they are going to chase me. Front row. Oh, okay. So we absolutely have to come back here. Noted. <laughs> Draugr Giant. Nine movement, nine movement. Traces of a rock slide a little out of your way. See what's buried beneath. Plus two mana. Put our dwarves together. And then move in. These guys got a couple of turns till this really kicks in anyway. Um, I suppose I could put that goblin shaman with the rest of the goblins. And I might as well throw that glyph on you. I don't really have anyone who does burning yet, so none of the other stuff makes any sense, but... Bit early for a Draugr Giant. It does feel a bit early for a Draugr Giant. And these guys must be going for my Apprentice Lodge. 211. Let's corrode him. Because ain't that what's magic's for? And then take an easy heroic and a bunch of levels. Let's do focus for sure. Speed, I guess. Plus do focus for sure. Phalanx for sure. I guess elemental resistance as they're my front line. Well, I'm happy for the easy kills. I only 
only have this gold for two more turns. I have summoned jellyfish. Transmutation. Sniff a gold. I suppose if I take this, I get another two gold. So that could be a reasonable play. I'm going to have these guys just get digging. Actually. The next part of this quest is dig 10 ore veins. And if I have three of them right here. Yeah. I was thinking I could go up and get this wind weed instead, but. Hogan getting pissed at you for 20 turns in. Suddenly a six stack of tier three units shows up to your tower and you only had two tier units of fast. Oh my God. Auto battle likes crossbows a lot. That's nice. If so, crossbows hit hard. Very good against high armor units. Normal units just tickle tanky things. Expos junk them. That's true. They do do the, all that like bonus damage against armored units. Plus two focus versus plus two willpower. Obviously, this is good on my mage. I just don't know if I want to use sky iron for it. Death damage. <gasps> Weapon of the leader. This unit and every ally in its stack gains plus two willpower. Hell yeah. That's my mountain goat or... I don't really want to use that right now, but... Yeah, my main character can use this. Uh, this is plus two against light and death damage. It's also just like plus on morale. I'm gonna like, I got pretty much got to take that, right? Okay. I'm happy enough with that. I should have put the shaman in here. Oh, they lived. Hell yeah. Whip these goons out. Dude, I don't even have to fight these fights. How nice. Grant's lucky. Unit always deals maximum damage. Artifact trinket. Are you for real? <laughs> yeah, all right. This run is a little bit blessed. I will take lucky on my mage. Why not? Apprentice can wield a weapon, yep. Tome or melee weapon slot. 17 attack on a tier 2. 15 armor. 40 damage expo, however, will do 25 damage. I did restart, after all. Yeah, no, I did. I restarted, like, um, about an hour ago. If that. Dude, I'm gonna keep stacking corrode. While I can while it's valuable to me. Watchtower is depleted. So here's the thing I could do, is I could build a second workshop 
81 gold. I didn't realize they cost more money. Who's in here? Knock, knock. Heroic victory. Oh, that solves my money problem for now. I'm role-playing as a dwarf, so obviously, uh, you know, <laughs> taking the bonus gold every day is pretty much mandatory. I'm going to start harvesting plants so I can get some life items. I don't know. Do you guys think you could take this? Oh, absolutely not. 201. I bet you these guys could take it with a heroic victory, though. Who's in here? 242. Oh, we're going to take that. I'm going to corrode these guys and we'll, we'll fight them. Heads up, there's an ad coming. I cannot stop it. I've pulled it back as far as I can. Am I even going to need to corrode them? No, but it would make my life easier. Nice. We got some more sky iron. Hell yeah. Ooh. Ooh. One additional glyph slot on an artificer? That's big. Mend is also an insanely good spell. But how do I turn down one extra glyph slot? Plus one missile damage or five extra health. When did these guys pick up earth armor? I might actually take five extra health on them. Uh, I'll give you melee damage. They started with earth armor. My guys last time didn't. <laughs> That's why I ask. Uh, I'm going to put health on them. It's unlikely they're going to be attacking. They should be casting spells most rounds. Stack slot plus one at 25. Oof, that's a ways away, though. Rip glyphs, mine a 10 ore. Mountain goat and Finian beer. So I do need a mountain goat ore. Which is like that, yes. Fine to do that. We're not making much in the way of mana. We would if we could take this all fire node. And honestly, we're strong enough that we could take that all fire node now. What are these guys like? Just these cats do so much damage and they prowl.
They had it too last time? You sure about that? My main caster had it. Or unlocked it, I should say. Slam dunk. 100% sure they had it. Oh, I am gravely confused then. All right, we're uh, we're gonna go meld with the all fire. Fifty percent missile damage. Mm, no. I think it probably counters me more than it counters them. We're going to give it a shot. Here's the thing. It's not like goblins cost me anything to keep. Man, I got a very good map here. Like solid cover. Yeah, rock solid cover. He's got to shoot through trees. You can kill them where they stand. Uh, you know what, man? I'll just stay guarding. These guys might die. They did get flanked. But these guys had two left, so they were only going to get hit with two, trade two for two. That was a good deal. They don't really want to be taking any more damage, but... Can hide them in the meantime. Sure. I'll take this trade. Uh, yeah, just... Bada boom. All right. We as gobos. It turns out we is gobos. Deep down in our hearts. Now, this was, I was a little worried about. Two rounds might be more difficult. If I retreat, I mean, I can heal with the Goblin Shaman and get most of them back up to pretty good health. The Archer won't get touched, so him being wounded doesn't matter. Cutthroat makes it a little bit more difficult. 
Especially with that first strike. I think I'm going to retreat this. No reason to sacrifice myself unnecessarily. Got some great plants. And we can start digging as well now. <sighs> I can't reach them. reckon I could try. Alright. They're gonna run. Interesting. Ah, uh, we're gonna get demon back here. 190. Okay, so the goblins could actually probably handle those. Our sword is crafted, giving us plus two willpower to everybody in here. You guys got to heal for a minute, but 204 versus 190. I feel pretty good about that. Elemental resistance. Eh, we see how it goes. Kill these pests. Oh, auto resolve. Sure. Take it. Summon a wisp. Move him in. Meld with the all fire node. Hell yeah, dudes. I guess we'll grab some extra armor on our sentries. Because they shouldn't be getting hit that much anyway. Neat Halt's Curse. This unit cannot perform attacks of opportunity and gains minus 50 elemental resistance. Now that's not really useful for me when all my characters do physical damage. So Meditate, on the other hand, lets you have infinite mana. Plus two armor against melee attacks or an additional glyph slot. I gotta take Parry Master. They're only tier one. I shouldn't be putting that many glyphs on them in the first place. Throw axe. Deals 16 physical damage to an enemy unit in four range. Can be repeated once per action. Or counter attack plus two damage when retaliating. Hmm. One charge. So I guess he can only use this like once per match. Here's the thing. He really should be saving his actions for guard and for counterattack. So I'm going to take counterattack on him. As wacky as that might feel. We've picked up Sniff Gold. I guess we'll unlock Awareness. Uh... Yeah, and I think we're good on everything else. Ooh, can we make healthy glyphs? We can make one. Oh, those guys are going to burn down my lodge, I think. 
Crossing a particularly tricky mountain route, you hear distressed voices behind a steep curve, a group of miners held hostage by granite dwarves. What will it be? The adamantium or your lives? Hold it right there. Ah, so this time, last time we encountered this, it was with our mining group. This time it's with our actual army, which means we can kill them. Ooh, mole riders. Tier two mortal dwarf beast cavalry. Inflicts days. Plus two damage to units without dwarf. Dwarven racism. Uh, the best part about this is I get, instead of minus 60 with the dwarf faction, I get plus 20 with all of them. It, it does mean I don't get adamantium right away, but it means I get it pretty soon and an infinite supply. It's kind of like one adamantium now or one adamantium a week later. Now, what are their deals? Ashen ones, all attacks inflict and kindled immune to fear. Tier one sword unit, demon. Tier two sword unit, demon with fire breath. Deals damage in a line. Hear me out. If I do that, and I attack you with this guy. I can then flank you. Oh, no. I guess I can't flank you. I want to make sure I'm not bundled up at all here. Mm, I'm in a Zerker stream. Ouch! As the kids say. How many times can he cast that? Only once. So he has a fireball missile, but he can't use it while engaged. But he does 30 damage on attack. If I guard, I might be able to live an extra round. That's what goblins are for. You know, I'll take it. That is what trash goblins are for. Level up the archers. Level up the, uh, the shaman. Protect the tower so that I don't have to go bringing everybody else back. No problemsy. I am a little wounded here. Get the lodge upgrade. Uh, I want to do bone spirits. It is a fight. I probably feel like I should heal before I do it. One ninety five. I mean, if I get fresh goblins, I have a lot of remains.
why don't I start crafting those? And I can throw them on like whoever. Once we have them. Hopefully they don't attack my miners. No, I don't know where they're going. All right, we got all fire. We got mana. All sorts of nice ore. Uh, we got easy experience. Which I will take. <laughs> Plus two armor or one additional shield slot. On a sentry. I don't have any shield right now is the thing. Little VIP, <laughs> little VIP sentries. Uh, this makes them armored, so they're also vulnerable to other crossbows. I'm going to give that to him. Two armor is always two armor, but a shield could be every anything, even two armor. That's actually kind of what I was thinking. I was like, I'm pretty sure the only shield I've seen is two armor. <laughs> I don't want to go too far away from bone. Bone spirits. Is this where the city is? Yeah, that looks like the city. All right, let's just wait here a turn. You guys are waiting on backup. Oh, my glyph of healthy is crafted. So let's put that on our tanks. Right, we don't know how to refine ore yet. What do we know how to make? Glyph of Seer. Pathfinder plus three speed. Well, wow, that's really good on like cavalry. Glyph of Despair. about it for a minute. A lucky charm and two gold. Are these guys going for anything? I can't even remember. Not really. They'd be well to fight those guys. Last time we searched the earthen mound, it was okay, but it wasn't really that cool. Why, why don't we search the tower? Three of each was the sword, yeah. The tower seems intact from the front, but rifling through it tells a different story. 
The entire back wall has been demolished and a massive skeleton lies broken with its head, chest, and arms on the outside, lower half on the outside. No doubt that this is where the ancient forgotten battlefield comes from the War of the Six Races. Spooky ghosts attack us. So we mess them up. Take their loot. And get the hell out of here. And then I think I'm going to make my way to Dwarf Town. Lesser Glyph of Grave Robbing. I kind of want to give these dwarfs like good glyphs. That's such a useless item. I do have extra sky iron here, so here's a question. Fearless. Plus two focus. Spider. Grant skill epidemic. Target a poisoned enemy to spread poison to everyone around it. Greater Glyph of Leader. This unit and every ally in its stack gains 20% XP bonus. Hello. I will take that. Yes, very much. Can I use a different item to make it? So I don't have to use up my Mountain Goat Glyph? Doesn't look like it. So we'll start crafting that. We're going to need another Mountain Goat Cliff, this also means. Uh, that's really good. <laughs> Put that on this guy for sure. Damn, that is stupid how good that is. Uh, you guys are going to get attacked. Let's start this battle. Do some Gabo fighting. Nice location for it. We going? We going? Huh? We going? Uh, what do you got? One set of hunters. Take it like that. I guess those Dwarven Guard can also throw hammers. Yeah, but it doesn't do that much. Cutthroats are the tier two, so they're probably who I should focus on. gotta go ah uh, these guys have first strike Which means it's kind of super helpful oh amazing that turned them so that's a flank which means they didn't get the first strike you can take zerker shrooms Come in here and hit those dweebs. Huh? 
Then it's big hits across the board, baby. Love it. We as gobos. I love that I have like the dwarves and then this goblin army. Like so you wouldn't expect the two of them to be working together in any kind of harmony. Grab health on them to make them like just a little bit more. Maybe they can stay alive a little bit longer. <laughs> So good. So pleased. There is an inn here. But I'd like to go into town and see what we have first. We're done up here, which means it's like the perfect time for us to move out. Because that watchtower is about to die. Windholm, an ancient and formidable, built to form stone tiers and hundreds of battlements, towers, steps, stairways, and bridges. Thanks to its solid construction, it has never fallen. A true marvel of dwarven masonry. There is a construction site here, along with an inn. Let's go right there. So we're going to we're going to move our spot over here. And then we'll go talk to the dwarves. See what they're saying. Uh in the meantime. So that's like that hammer and sickle. Are you the same one? Oh yeah, you were too. So if I could get another lodge up here, it would be good. I'd like to see what we have in the way of bandits. Just in case there are any bandits. We should move in here. It's exactly the idea. Uh, we also have a ton of money. Do I want to build a second workshop? Let's see what we have for sale here first. Shop prices are changed by minus 50% for the next week. Lads, I'm so glad we restarted. I might be pushing myself on them. There goes the watchtower on this turn and the next turn we move over here. She a dream come true. Now, I might lose my entire goblin force in this fight. Going? <laughs> it's extremely possible that that happens. Huh? My best bet... Would be to do this. <laughs> God damn, these guys are cruel. Got it. There is not they can do here. You know what? I'll take it. Yeah. Low rolls it.
Row, row, row. Wildcats. Goblins are rat-like, and those are really big cats. It's cool, because now what I can do is I can spend that money on an army of dwarven sentries. <laughs> Instead of having goblins. The timing of that... is rather unfortunate, though. Could be wrong, but I think that means I lose the game. Yeah. I have no choice. <laughs> so we don't lose our goblins is the good news. Against a bunch of kitty cats, but we do have to load back a save. Which is, in its own right, frustrating. All right. Oh, there's a quest here we have to do before we actually get access to that. The Rose of Windhelm. You've come to Windhelm in a time of celebration and are invited to join in the parade honoring the dwarven women living in the king's palace. Magnificently decorated dwarven men pilgrim to large steps in front of the palace to place roses before the women or cite them the most beautiful poems and songs. Let's honor the ritual by placing flowers too. Moving closer, you notice a dwarf struggling with a great cask instead of flowers. His breath is labored as he shifts from weight from one arm to the other. A muffled bump comes from inside, almost drowned out by the loud swish of liquid. Do you need some help? Relief spreads across the dwarf's face. Thank you, Grand Mage. My stamina is not what it once was. You carry the cask up the stairs. The dwarf follows, recites a few lines, and opens the lid, revealing a beautiful array of vegetables, intricately carved into the shape of delicate flowers, pickled in vinegar. His gift is received with much admiration. Thank you for helping me honor our traditions. It is a marvelous feast. Everyone enjoys themselves. What a good time. Dwarven barracks. Oh my god, I can recruit Dwarven workers and axe wielders? Increases the yield from harvesting plants. I'm gonna buy that. I'm also gonna buy this plus 10 research as additional loot after each battle one. I'm also gonna grab this healthy glyph. Combat balloons, shields? Pure Glyph of Healthy. I'm also going to buy... Two additional workers and an axe wielder. Units here gain 15 health and 20 elemental resistance. And they have Pyromancers, which are tier 3. Grant flame armor, 100% elemental resistance. Well, that's really nice. And they have fireballs. Cool. There's a part of me thinking about just having four dwarven workers. I think I like that idea. So <laughs> we're going to do it. I mean, let's go elemental resistance too, I guess, on them. Heals daily to 100% health. Do I need that? I guess it's helpful. Well, both of my frontline guys have 100% health heal. Grants the additional plus 10 health plus 10 research. I'm going to put that on you because you're almost always going to be in the army.
I'm a little bit worried about these guys getting clipped. So we'll give them that just in case. Oh, I just realized everything was also 50% off. That's why everything was so super cheap. After daily comes, after battle, each battle 100% health. Oh, so they just heal all the way to full health after every fight. That's crazy. Wandering the outskirts of Wind Home, a low whistle draws your attention to a hooded figure. They wave closer and vanish into a small hut. He comes and throws his hood back and reveals dark leather armor. A granite dwarf. I bet you've heard about the adamantium shortage. If you need some, I can supply it, but I need heat stones and heavy pelts. Guards, a granite dwarf. The dwarf steps into the shadows and is gone from sight. When the guards enter, the extra light reveals through the hatch shows that he must have fled. One less rat on the streets. Dude, I am pretty sure next turn I'm at the next tier with Windhelm. Yeah, I am for sure. So I'm going to be able to go back in there and buy a bunch more stuff at that extra discounted price. Our mine is depleted. Oh, okay. Well and truly noted. Good job, goblins. Adamantium, you kids want to buy some adamantium? I mean, I do want to get some adamantium really badly. A new day dawns and the circle is cranky. We've learned awareness. Plus three vision range. That's interesting. And heal. I'm not really putting a lot into research right now because I'm trying to get to level 25 mastery. Damn. That's bad timing. Two forty two. I mean, maybe they'll ignore me. I wouldn't bet on it, though. Okay, it looks like maybe 125 points is the next level. So I am just going to wait here for a little bit. They got crossbow men now. I guess because we just hit the next week. So everybody tiered up. Crossbowmen and cutthroats? Yeah. Yeah, so the world's gotten harder. You've recently heard so many tales claiming that fairies are appearing in mushroom circles at night. Each story varies in its description of what the fairies do, but you're certain it's a bad omen. Much boom circles. All right. Well, we're going to take a little snooze there. Uh-oh. I love how the granite dwarves just have random polar bears and snow leopards running around town. We're getting run out of town here completely. The process of rebuilding your master's tower is underway and your attention turns to the grimoire. 
Some hidden pages are up north and down south. I should have went where those strong winds were. Uh, those polar bears are going to chase me down. We need one more turn here. I could do something like just leave a dwarven worker at this city. So they could shop constantly. If I could get a Dwarven worker who made free money, that would be a really good idea. Glyph of the Leader is crafted. Which is exceptionally good. Uh, I do need one of these mountain goat glyphs, but not at the exchange of a greater herbalist. So this guy's got mining boost. If I put that in there, he'd get double boost no matter what he was harvesting. Granite Dwarves all over the damn place right now. All right. First off, you guys. I remember these polar bears being a really tough problem. Because they deal extra damage to shielded units. Mm. And I got a lot of shielded units. Mm. Mm. Oi. Oi. What I... Don't want to have happen is these lions just jump back on everybody. So what I could do is I can move these guys in here and then I could put a rock there. And then I can maybe put like a rock here. I can move both of these forward one and lay a rock. Yes. You can't hit anybody. Aye, General. These guys all have Mountaineer, which means they can just run up and hit me in the face. So can that polar bear. Ready? Ready? Okay. Yep. Had a funny feeling.
So he can do pretty good damage to say that kitty cat staggered minus 50 percent speed okay yes. Hi, General. you're gonna have to heal him yes mm -hmm. yes he's dead There's no way around that. He's yes. dead. Ready? Mm. Mm. You might as well take this attack of opportunity. to give yourself a flanking. He's gonna use one, but then we're gonna hit him on this side and use the rest of his abilities. give you guys who are just like designed to counter your army here mm. 26 to 40 24 to 33 I'd have to max roll him really all I can do. Man. Yeah, we're going to have to retake this fight for sure. Ain't no way. the rolls I mean I can afford to lose a frontline guy at this point because we at least have the store that we can buy new guys at I can't remember how much of a pain it is to try and recoup your main character though out of resolve in most four gas games is janky shows a massive loss play yourself you can win I mean, some of these we've won on the auto resolve and it's been like an unquestionable. There's no possible way we could win it. Okay, because I have a lodge, he just resurrects in seven turns. That's not so bad. I can make do with that, I think. Armor or elemental resistance? You have pretty good elemental resistance right now. You also have very, very good armor. You're in fact armored, so let's give you elemental resistance. We just hit level two here. The commander of Winholm Guard asks to meet with you and you can finally make the time. You find him sweating and looking around. One of our war balloons was stolen. They're quite precious given that we only have a few left. I have no idea how the thieves got away or even... or who they even are. Our hall, our hall is guarded night and day and no one has reported anything. Can you simply make another? The materials needed to keep such a large vessel in the air are sparse and difficult to collect. After the war, the six races even more so. Where do you normally keep it? Uh, in the storage hall just outside the city. Uh, we will find your war balloon. 
I gotta remember how this quest works, because I remember getting the war balloon is like really good and unique. Earth shapers and sentries. We can pick up a round shield and a pure glyph of healthy. Oh yeah, man. We got money for all this. I can't really make earth shapers, so. What am I doing with this many units is the question. I can make sentries. With the downside being that they don't have sick dwarven resilience buffs. They are tier two. Earth shapers are just better than axe wielders in every way. Oh, sorry, they do three less melee attack. And I guess like their counters and stuff aren't as good. Oh, dude, that Dwarven Resilience is crazy. We got to find a way to make money. And fast. Or we need to find a way to lose all of our units. By the look of it, might be happening. Oh, these guys are all coming from the inn. I don't know what's over here. I'd kind of like this guy to meet up with the rest of our troops. Snipers. You know what? I'm going to go here and see if they attack me. And then we'll keep cruising on. Losing a guy for seven turns is not the end of the world. It's a bit of a pain, but as long as that lodge is there and it is there and protected, uh, we shouldn't really have too much troubles. We could try making our way out here, doing Soaring Troubles, taking out this inn, maybe this battlefield and some other things. We're going to level up Windhome pretty fast at the rate things are going, and that's fantastic because that gives us a really good, strong Dwarven start. Uh, and then we can make our way over here to the Adamantium Mine afterwards. And the Alchemical College. Ooh, I should just send somebody down there is what I should do. Get ourselves a second apprentice. That would be very, very smart. We're about to hit level 25 mastery. So I can put this other stone shaper in with these guys. And then I can have two stone shapers in this army. Very, very yes. Let's do that. That's going to be the plan. But that's going to be the plan for next week. All of our old saves from a year ago. That's perfect. I'm going to leave it at that. Thank you for joining me. We'll be back next week. We're going to be playing a whole bunch of this in preparation for the DLC coming out in two weeks. Uh, so please tune back in and keep watching and enjoying.